I ended up now doing a weekly race with them. Welcome to League Racing. Wow, look at that. This man enters League Racing do- <laughs> in one week. The shot. I think it was start of the Barin Barin GP. Can I Shy. Now they call me Mother Spin. <laughs> <laughs> My recipes are over. I guess that's the best okay, we, can, we can start then. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Dio Dot Load, the Gaming Metis Podcast. Eh. Hey. Episode 84. Ooh, 84. 84. 84. Mm. And... 84 quick uh, introducing the panel, we have Daniel over here. Hello. The other side there, we have Kakucho Praise and Mr. Toffee coming back again. Hey, what's up? Hey. And, oh, guess what? Who is it? Oh, it's Toka. Toka. Say hi. <laughs> bueno. I mean, hi. hi. What, you want me to call you Mother Spin? <laughs> Buongiorno, buongiorno. <laughs> no. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. And probably... I read the... I read the Kobinoto. Pronto. Actually, I gotta ask, Toka, if you don't mind. Mm, are yeah. you a fan of Ninja Turtles? Because I think you got your name from a particular character. Or... How do you get your nickname? Oh, that's actually quite easy. It's not Ninja Turtles related. It's actually from an enemy. And it came oh, okay, okay. back in the high school days. So basically, my friends would go to the cyber cafe in an era where we can go to CCs back in the day, the good old days. So basically, ah, yes. we were playing Call of Duty. Call of Duty, I think it was Modern Warfare 2. So basically, I was camping, and like until 25 kills. And at the day, the day thing I took at the time was Toka, which is basically from the anime Day Alive. Because that's one of the first animes that I watch when I moved to KL. So, okay, okay. Uh, to quote regular car uh. reviews, weebo, 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 weebo. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I had to. <laughs> it was a fun car review. Also, though. that. Mm-hmm. Also, I see a fifth person. Yeah, oh. I was going to say yeah. probably Anna will join here when he wants to. And look at that, oh. he's here. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, uh, I, I need to set up my RTX or oh voice. It's kind of wonky right now. Oh, oh. Shit. oh okay. Go on, go on. Anna did not participate. The RTX. Anna did not participate in the pre recording mic test just to flex. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a full house today. So, uh, I guess this is the post riot celebrations or. Or do we want to put it in somber terms? <laughs> Things are rough, the man. What is Raya? <laughs> uh, SOP is maintained. The SOP, the SOP oh. Raya. Oh, S- SOP, SOP. Here in Gamer Matters, we maintain SOP. We work from home. <laughs> Everybody is uh, in a very respectable distance. Almost two states apart. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, so I don't know about other people, but, but over here we follow the SOPs as as required. <laughs> no, no celebrity immunity required. Uh, so during these tough times, what have you guys been up to? Do we want to go straight in, or do you guys have some some other stupid preambles? Who want to share? I think let's just go to the main meat and potatoes of the the the, the talk, I guess, because recently mm-hmm. um, we did a review of a certain game about a castle or something. Oh, uh, so basically, since we all cannot balik kampung, follow me, oh, eh? follow me here. Yeah, uh, yeah, we we we, 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 uh, we are all staying cooped inside our houses in our home. In our villages, 
and we become residents of and some people might have lost their mind so they become evil aha oh come on now that's the bit <laughs> yeah all that's... Oh, right that's the punchline okay okay all right sorry actually we i was going to put a resident resident evil but i think that's a bit over the top so <laughs> yeah resident evil village <laughs> Can I see that we, we don't have that uh that iconic Resident Evil anymore in it? No. Which I should have just dot, dot one point for it. They I just remembered. <laughs> they didn't say it. I thought even no, in, in, in 7 they did that. Right? Yeah, I just remember it. They don't have that. Well, yeah, I think it's just like you press a button, you get in the game, and then, yeah, you're straight in. Yeah, I should dot things. a point for that. <laughs> Sorry, Capcut Asia. Uh, it's now 8.9. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> so I'm under the impression that everyone here in the room has finished the game, or at least know what happened from start to finish. I follow yeah. through whatever Twitter showed me. I just do bits and bobs. Hmm. Atoka, what about you? I bas- I basically just watch YouTube. Okay, uh-huh. I assume Anan is like that as well. Not even Twitch, my God. I cannot go Twitch too many, too many, too many T words. <laughs> we'll, we'll skip that for later. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, I see the docket. I see the docket. I see the docket. Mm. Cool. So yeah, the Resident Evil Eight, the uh, like the tenth iteration, the tenth entry in the Resident Evil franchise. If counting Cold Veronica and Resident Evil Zero. Yes, I think so far it's just yeah, you and right. I, right, Daniel, who finished the game and yeah. are now in our multiple playthrough mode, lah, which is very on par for the brand. Of course. <laughs> so, what do you think so far? I mean, since you know, since you were starting the topic, what do you think of the uh, game so far? Okay, I like it. Like, it is better than seven. Um, because there's a lot of like quality of life changes that they implemented, but. I also have some grass with it, like everybody okay. else do. Especially the the main thing that made people very disappointed about the game, about a certain boss character dying in the first half. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's a week already, so I think we can just talk spoilers now. So okay, how about this? Mind, like, how about this? Let me ask you a question. Totally not related to the topic at hand. Totally not related. Uh, okay. okay, guys, okay. let can you guys, anyone, anyone here, talk to me, talk me through why people are horny of tall vampire lady. <laughs> <laughs> ah right. This is basically Capcom's uh, accidental genius um marketing. So when they did the teaser for the upcoming live stream on January, which was I think of uh, which it was happening like probably 5 days from January, uh this uh content creator called Susie Hunter pointed out that oh, apparently there's a very tall vampire lady in this game based on the teaser that came out. And then because of that, it just followed through and then people were like thirsting for this really well-dressed vampire aristocrat lady with the big butt and the big front and, you know, super tall, lah, basically, and happens to be a vampire. And once they saw, like, the huge reveal of the character, so to speak, um, in the trailer, and then from January all the way to May, she's pretty much the talk of the town, lah, all the way through from Deviant Art to Twitter to... No, Tumblr doesn't exist anymore, right? <laughs> or any other website or whatnot or 4chan that seems to like posting okay. artwork of this character as well as the daughters of the character. Lah. Um, Lady Dimitrescu and her daughters. I forgot the names, but they're just called... I just call them Lady D daughters. Lah, so. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And the funny part is, once you finish the game, once you play through the entire game, it turns out that she's only 30% of... She's basically 30% of the game. Her segment, her fights, and her respective level and everything leading up to it, it's only 30% of the game. Which means that, in a way, I guess Capcom did a really smart thing in not revealing everything else. Which is good, because I loved all of Resident Evil 8. Of, because of, you know, all the surprises, the twists and turns, and the, how to put it, a nonsensical storyline that we're probably going to spoil in a few minutes. 
Yeah. I'm, so I'm, I guess this is the part where you have to mention the timestamp. Like, you cannot listen to here unless you want to be spoiled lah. Yeah, yeah. All right, sure. So, yeah. Spoilers. Uh, after this point, everything is spoilers for Resident Evil okay. Village. Yeah. Still. Okay, I, so I... I, I guess the biggest mm-hmm. thing that Daniel and I can talk about is um, there's a pretty big reason why Ethan can take all the damage he's been taking since part 7. They did explain it. A lot. Mm-hmm. Like, we wonder why his hands are like very brutalized and whatnot, why he's missing like two fingers. Uh, yeah, eight fingers basically. <laughs> Resident Evil 8, eight fingers. Oh god <laughs> damn it, that's <laughs> why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and it turns out that yeah, he has been um, he's been a subject of a particular plague in part seven lah. So it's basically the plot. The plot armor is basically explained in great detail. Okay, so it's not just he, a silly, he got, silly. got something. Yeah, he got last plagas. <laughs> is he a last uh, plagas? I guess Ironically... they call it the mold in part seven. Yeah, I guess it's related. <laughs> it's related. Everything all ties in. They actually, when you play a particular segment at the end of the game, they basically tie it all together to Umbrella. Like, of course. everything that all started, all started here. Like, from Oswald Spencer to the symbol of the company and the progenitor virus explanation and whatnot. So, the, all the stuff that's been happening to all the four Mega Man bosses in Resident Evil 8 are all basically a byproduct of the virus that's specific to Part 7 and Part 8. So, which is basically typecast as the mold lah. Do you want to continue on, uh, Daniel, on from this point? Uh, yeah, like, like I think it's quite obvious when you, I think, in the first escape sequence of the game, you get to see this, uh, like the the castle's respective, uh, like signal basically, the punya logo, and behind it is a very nice red and white circle, which I don't know what are they referencing to. <laughs> Anyone knows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gee, I wonder what. <laughs> is it looking like a coat of arms or something? Or is it just that yeah, logo? Because, like, be, in front of it is a coat of arms, Dutty, the black one. It's actually a red and white umbrella like symbol. Yes. <laughs> I see. Ah. Yeah, yeah. This is a thing with Japanese developers, they're not subtle with everything they tell story-wise. <laughs> you play, once you play like every single RPG from the PS1 era, you'd be like, yeah, they can tell us a good story, but your metaphors are just going to be like way in front of you. Like, it's just right in front of the ally, you know, in that sense. But I kind of like it for, it for for that reason as well. Um, that's why I enjoy this kind of batshit insa- insanity. Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, I heard the there's a return of the attaché case simulator. How's the Tetris game there? Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, I think I had I had a uh, simple like, because I've played RE4 on the the iPhone. <laughs> Excuse me, yeah, the iPhone. Like, yeah, there is an iPhone version, which oh wow, okay. I remember there's an attaché case, so that's even harder to control since. Can. The original iPhone, the iPhone 3, basically, it's like this very small screen. So imagine me trying to do the Tetris there. So, so for me now, yeah, it's bigger. It's much better than uh, Leon's one. Yeah, you can actually buy extra space with the money you get. And because of the way the enemies have been dropping a lot of loot, especially their corpses, which should the crystal, and you can sell to the shopkeeper, yeah, you can actually get a bit more money like from your first playthrough. And yeah, we should say we should mention that the Duke is the best character in the game, apart from Lady D, hmm. and maybe Heisenberg to a point. <laughs> nah, that's just Nicholas Cage. Yeah, Nicholas Cage <laughs> and Christopher Walken. If he was Magneto, this that guy is literally Magneto in the Resident Evil universe. Oh, yeah, guy he can control metal, form the platforms, and there'll be a fight where basically he. He becomes a mecha, and you oh, fight God. him in the tank. <laughs> yeah, he's so weird. Yeah, it, it is basically like on brand, but at the same time, yeah, I don't think the writers give a shit anymore. Like, I know part seven and to an extent part five or part four, they try to keep it grounded to reality, 
And then part eight turns out to be like, the writers were like, yeah, you know what? Forget about this. We're just going to go all out because it's going to be Ethan Swan song, so to speak. Yeah, might so, as well. They just say, I might as well. <laughs> yeah. So we have like a giant fish people. We have tall lady vampires. We've got werewolves. We have doll. I mean, that's probably we have like creepy dolls in what could be like the scariest moment oh, in the game. Oh yeah, like. yeah. I really like the one. Oh yeah, please tell us more about uh, what that house Beneviento, Daniel. Oh yeah, so the second house, basically after uh, Lady D, we went to this very interesting uh, basic horror sequence where basically it just turns into sign here. Or to be uh, precise, uh, PT, the demo. Yeah, PT, yeah. Like, the puzzle element is quite interesting as well. Like, you have to, uh, like, have to solve this uh, doll puzzle, basically, which which is quite genius, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll have to confess, it took me about 20 minutes because, um, <laughs> because of the game system of detecting objects, uh... I forgot to check the leg of the doll, so I got stuck for 20 minutes and I realized, oh, okay, I'm supposed to check the doll's leg. Because of the way it detects things, like, it's harder to pick up items in this game because you have to look down and then you have to make sure your cursor is sort of on point with the stuff around it. That also applies to like detecting um, hitboxes for puzzle-solving objects. So you're going to miss things if you're not very careful or not very adept at pixel hunting in adventure games. But apart from it, yeah, I'm I'm with, uh, I'm in I'm in total. I agree with Daniel here wholeheartedly. I love that segment. Um, very horrifying, very creepy in that sense, especially with the uh, the metaphor of the unborn of the dead child thing going on with Ethan and Mia Winters, and the uh, really creepy baby that chases you in the entire in that particular segment. Oh no! Like when you, you see, yeah, when you hear the baby. noise and everything is like. Yeah, yeah, it's a creepy baby. Creepy oh, no. giant baby. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah it's happening once again. <laughs> Not again. Yeah, it's, uh... And then, yeah, and then each different house that you fight in in Resident Evil Village has its own click and nostalgia nod to Resident Evil 4. In fact, when you fight against the fish guy, uh, Moro, it basically reminds you of the the marsh segment or the water segment in... Was it part 7 or part 4? Uh, one of those, basically. Except, you, I mean, you have a giant fish chasing you, lah, in that sense. Do you know, like, I, this is a funny tidbit about, about myself, because I played that version on, I don't know if you guys played it, the Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles, which is basically the the telling of, I think, 2, 3, and 4. Mm, yes, <laughs> but yes, in, light gum, in light gun form. I yes, played that I played using that. the light yeah, gum, yeah. the... <laughs> So my one basically is just oh I remember this from Resident Evil Chronicles. Ah okay okay. <laughs> so the sun shades popping up lah more or less. I like that you guys describe it as going house to house as in like. Now now Are I'm you? getting right. <laughs> get you, like, you yeah yeah guys. it's like different it's like going to different houses you right yes you visiting except you killing people not eating yeah. the queer. You go to what house to meet Dimitri school and say hey, welcome. And then, and then like, and and what? What? <laughs> yeah. You're not dying from diabetes from the sweet stuff. You're dying from actual I'm... deaths and bullet wounds and stuff. I mean, after you kill them, you get Dread Raya. Oh my god! Yeah, Dread Raya. Yeah. <laughs> uh, damn it. It was, not a, it was not a coincidence that Balik Kampung makes so, it fits so well with the, the launch trailer for Resident Evil Village. Sometimes you visit the cute auntie, sometimes you visit the crazy auntie or the, or the crazy uncle. In this case, with the weird house, which is House Heisenberg. La. Okay, you fight a giant, you fight a giant werewolf chief la, halfway through, but House Heisenberg is probably like... I think, I'm, I think the most divisive for quite a few people. I mean, for me, la, I wasn't really a fan of House Heisenberg, but I can understand why they did that, and I respect people's opinion in liking that stage because of the ubermensch... Uh, human zombie robot hybrid shit going on basically it just felt like a cheap wolfenstein level to me like that sense but with terrible controls yeah pretty much but i appreciate the monster design especially you know like house heisenberg the 
what's that the mecha form in the end of the for the boss fight which probably my my the highlight of that stage lah for me i like the best part i think is like when when uh heisenberg keep going out the the mecha stuff like he, even Ethan is already this uh, it's already like tired like of oh, another one really <laughs> <laughs> yeah pretty much it's good stuff all around and yeah, I think what was also really good about Resident Evil is like even after you finish a game and f- figure out the plot, you have a lot of like opportunities to actually bring back your items and also earn CP points by playing and completing different challenges. And I'm not, and I didn't even bring up a mercenary modes. Um, that's also another killer thing about the game itself, like the replayability. Like uh, Daniel, like you played through. Now you're on the second playthrough, more or less, right? You're gonna play through the game I'm again. I'm just like just playing like uh, mercenary most basically, because I I don't want to start all over again, basically. Like, but I don't think I really like the the new mercenary modes, basically. I think oh. because oh okay, how come? How come? Because I think like uh, when compared to six, six was like we like, like we have three different characters that so we can pick Chris, Jake, or Leon. Well, this one we already have a statement that. And later on in the game that you have segment play as Chris, why not we have another segment with Chris? Mm-hmm. In the mercenary mode, basically. I guess so, I guess so. Um, oh yeah, speaking of which, I feel that the Chris segment itself you mentioned, among all the Resident Evil games I played where they have like some penultimate shoot em up mode, where you can kind of go crazy and then the bullets sort of come, I guess. I think Chris's one is probably the best. Because the fact that the werewolves can get pretty tough when you're starting out the first time. So it's nice that, you know, you have a character who can basically headshot most of them one yeah. go in one segment. Gives you that nice power turret game feeling. Oh, fan- <laughs> Finally, some power fantasy after that, like, six or seven hours. <laughs> just yeah, yeah. To as well as, you know, having a satellite, basically like the Hammer of Dawn satellite move <laughs> where Chris shines a light after a few seconds, the the orbital laser comes down. That's really satisfying. Yeah. I'm getting uh, the impression that Resident Evil all... Village is less of a horror game. <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. pretty much. Yeah. Um, it's creepy. Mm. And there's one horror segment which we mentioned, the dollhouse segment. But beyond that, every action beat in Resident Evil 8 has always been... I guess they're just paying tribute to Part 4 yeah. with the action beats. I so like, that's why they thought they up the ante in yeah. this regard, lah. Like, I think I read somewhere that this is a very good. Uh, Resident Evil is basically a nice homage to the different types of horror games we have in the market right now. We have the original, like in Seven, in the yep. Castle Lady D. Then we have uh, the very the very scary horror like Outlast and and PT in the the second house. Then we have body horror like Dead Space in uh, mm. Monroe's. And then mm-hmm. lastly, I think last lastly, I think it's like a homage to the likes of RE4 and uh, the Evil Within. Mm, yes, I, yes, I so the mechanical for, monsters, feel, right? Yeah, so it's very good homage to the horror games that we have right now. Yeah, even though know, I said that uh, the Heisenberg Factory level is my least favorite, I still go give Capcom like credit for at least attempt doing something different with the. Uh, formula of bad shittiness, crazy, crazy nonsense going on. Because when you try to follow the story, you tell it to a regular person, the guy will probably just uh, look at you weird and t- ask you whether you're on your meds. But generally, yeah, it's pretty on brand with what with the nonsense that happened in part 4, part 5, part 6 onward. Lah. So yeah, kudos to Capcom for keeping it consistent and crazy. Should we also bring up the what happens at the end, like Daniel? What do you got? Yeah, what do you think? I, I, I think we just keep that a secret. <laughs> okay, we just we'll keep that a the secret end. then. Yeah, but we can. We will mention that. Um, if you want to keep that part a secret when you finish a game, don't look at the credits. Oh because, yeah, don't. Uh, at the right, at the left side of the screen, and the the the, the, the words that come down and that scroll down, and or on the right side, there's like the pictures of the how people became werewolves. Don't look at the left side of the screen because, in the voiceover casting. They basically reveal a character surprise that spoils the ending, the post credit sequence. So basically, shame on Capcom lah for not spotting that earlier. <laughs> mm. It's like, what happens if they reveal like uh, Nick Fury in the very first Iron Man movie before the scene happens? 
That's pretty silly, right? Yep. Pretty much. <laughs> Interesting. So there's there's a sting at the end, all right? Yeah. Huh? Good, yeah. good thing at the end. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. There's two singers actually. Okay. Yeah, okay. because because I I think I'll talk about that. <laughs> all right. But at the same time, I also do wonder if. Wow, I don't know what Capcom's path is after this Resident Evil. It's like, it's anybody's game how the storyline will go beyond that because of all the crazy stuff that happens in part in part Village. Like, I honestly don't know what Capcom's going to do next for Ari, which is fine because uh, we can enjoy this in the meantime. It'll be like a couple more years until the next possible sequel comes out. Oh, Mac, I know. I think I know. Space. Since, 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 no, I was about to say that. Space. Since Fast Furious 9 is going to go to space. Might as well. Ali 9, we go space. Space. Oh, oh my god. Why is this the fight? Why is this the Fast and the Furious sequel? I think they are yeah. taking, they might actually be taking cues from that. I think Capcom <laughs> R&D team would be like, yeah, let's go watch all these Fast and Furious movies. I know it's a racing film. It may have nothing to do with Resident Evil for now, but, but you know, do some extra research. it's about family. Yeah, oh, no. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I like how you're tying it all together. So yeah, it's a good job. Good job. Uh, you know what you see so, uh, not... with family during the festive seasons? Ohana. Ohana means family. Ah, you must have been. Uh, I guess that ties up the rest of the Evil Village talk. Uh, I cannot believe we managed to oh. do that many prior puns. Oh yeah, I forgot about Resident Evil. There's one thing that me- that makes other people like the game is the fact that you can mod, and I oh, have seen. Oh yeah, I have seen somebody mod Lady D becoming very thick, and then there's a fly swatter, and your oh, whole yes. body is to swap. Uh, I've only yeah. been playing the Xbox version, so I don't know. I mean, I only saw yeah, videos it, of the PC version, and you know the benefits of modding wild. does yeah. open up the, the yeah. thirsty community. The body team is wild. Yes. I I cannot imagine uh Monster Hunter Rise later later yeah. in the year. <laughs> it's like Christmas for people uh, on May seven for a lot of these modders. Christmas, <laughs> Halloween, and um, Easter all in one, where they get all the gifts. Yes. Definitely oh, and there's also Thomas one uh, mod. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, and there's also a mod where basically, if you see, for every time you look at Lady D, her hat gets bigger. So basically, Wait, her hat will engulf yeah. the entire castle, lah, the castle walls. It's yeah. it's stupid. Uh, you can see videos of this. It's very insane. Much like the game's plot. So, <laughs> so what's next, Toka? What have you been doing? Well, personally, for me, I was, I was into F one lately. Oh, welcome. Okay, hold on. Uh, <laughs> I, I, like, I forgot that SpongeBob thing. The 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 song. I don't remember. Like, is it? Hold on. Is it the fun song or? No, no, this one. <laughs> no, that that one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just welcome I, with the, with the F one team. <laughs> Yeah, so be- so basically, one of my friends that I know about this year was basically, you know, persuading me into playing F one. So I so I did, and now for some reason I can't stop playing it. And then that's there's... how they get you. That's that is why EA bought F the Commander. They know <laughs> this is their next FIFA. <laughs> oh yeah. Also, speaking of Codemasters, F one twenty twenty one. And then they announced okay. Legends. But we get to that later. So let's talk about your experiences with F1 right now. As, <laughs> as someone who is, you know, a, now a retired esports driver, I want to know, how does a beginner play a racing game now? In the year of 2021? You know, you know, surprisingly, the first race I ever played, I played with a keyboard. <laughs> Everyone starts with the keyboard, my my son. <laughs> right, imagine, this, imagine, imagine, imagine pressing W for like 30 laps. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then I realized that everybody else is using controller and wheels. 
I was like at this point, okay, fine. Now use controller. So basically, so basically, I play. It's not. It's not. It's not like. I would say more towards esports is just between friends. So basically, I got into the Williams. Ah, uh, you're back in the family again. <laughs> in the family again. <laughs> I mean, technically, I would pick I would pick uh, Mercedes, but overrated, I guess. So, and plus, I'm just starting, so better start off with the last. Just not Haas. I I can't bring myself to go to Haas. Look, if you were For... a fan of in 2018, you would have picked a Haas. But I understand uh, in these current circumstances, I, I, you I, do not I cannot... want to folk smash. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, I seen I seen the Drive to Survive series as well. For some reason, they told me like, "You wanna play the game? You have to watch this Netflix series." <laughs> you do not force me. Nah. That's that's, that's the first. That's the first for me. I never heard people. Like, hey, you wanna play again? Go watch the Netflix first. Is this is this how people feel about watching the? Oh yeah, if you wanna watch this series, you have to read the manga first. <laughs> but in racing form. But no, the weird thing it, is, it was in... it's the Netflix thing. It's not even the real. <laughs> it's not even the real race. It's the Netflix. Uh, imagine like imagine going to someone about to play Grand Turismo Sport. Eh? No, no, you have to play. Uh, upper was that what two races first, and then baru boleh main. So yeah, basically that's how I got started, and now. Let's just say I'm in the bottom for sure, but at least I'm not always the last guy. So, although I do end up doing the 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 spin, ah, uh, you you get used to it. But... Spin, I mean, la-la. I mean, I remember. La-la. I think my last race was Silverstone. Mhm. Silverstone. Yeah. So fun. basically, it was. <laughs> Everybody says it's fun, but it's a on a rainy day. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh boy, a rainy day kind of game, is it? So yeah. So basically, we ended up crashing and turning. I was oh, at P four at one point. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Ah, the Josh Russell. <laughs> no, I was at P four. I was at P four, and then, you know, it was almost drying up. I changed into slicks. Too early. I changed to slicks. Oh my god! It is the Josh Russell. No, no, no. <laughs> I did. I did it. I think I changed it like five five laps before the end. Okay. And then on the second last lap, I ended up turning around turn five. Yeah. And then I get to last. Yeah, Daniel. That's a Russell. And to make, that's a Russell right there. And and and, and to mix and to make things worse, I have a puncture. Yeah. Oh, you oh, almost did know. a Hamilton. Oh, you cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, basically that's how. Basically that's how that's how my race goes. I mean, my next race is basically tomorrow, and it's Belgian. So, oh, ah, uh, easy. Oh, yeah. Just cut. Basically, just cut up a rouge can and then just boot it. Must have a penalty. <laughs> so basically, yeah. So basically, so basically, I'm playing tomorrow for for the Belgian GP. And here's the thing, though. In my five races so far, I never managed to figure out how to start the engine on the uh, uh, at in the red lights. Oh, um, I will give you this app that which, uh, what was this the the lights out timer, which you can practice because it is very uh upper, accurate. Oh, because oh, reaction during the reaction, the lights yeah, out. the reaction. Uh. My tip for that is not to look at the lights directly. Look your, at the car in front. <laughs> you, your peripheral vision is very strong, you know. Like, if something just glaring at the at the side of your eyes, you'll pick it up much faster than, like, if you stare it straight down. Oh, yeah, you can also look at the cars. <laughs> Especially if you're at the oh, back. Shit, just, <laughs> oh, the, the guy's going, go. <laughs> But anyways, enough about me racing. And now, Into I have to else. buy, and I have to buy F one twenty twenty one. For some reason, because of you know, course, 
once once you go in, you never go out. So Welcome that's... to me since 2017. Uh, <laughs> Toffee, you've seen you are seeing a sports dude play getting into the annual sports game right here yeah, before your very much. eyes. Yes, <laughs> it's really in the making, I guess. Uh, <laughs> this is why people play by FIFA every year. But for cars, all right. They so hook you. The they hook you. Right. Yeah. At least, at, at least, at least, the difference between F1 and FIFA 21, they don't almost repeat the same mechanics every fucking year. Like with FIFA, not yet. yet. Not yet. <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah, we... It's a not yet now. I would have, <laughs> I would have hundred percent uh, agreed with your opinion there. But now Codemasters is under EA Sports. Ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like how, you, how it went from happy to sad, really. You've, like you've entered the fandom at the wrong time, mate. Yeah. You know, you know, that's the reason I, I why... Mean. That's the reason why I hit EA. And it's, and it's the Combining Con- Conquer series. Uh, and that's a whole nother dumpster fire. Uh, the, I number four, the number I, four I, dumpster I, exists. I'm on the same boat as you. I really miss Westwood so much. I mean, yes, the team are making some stuff under the Petroglyph name, but it's not the same, dude. Like, these are the guys who made Lands of Lore, that weird-ass adventure game, and then also uh, Command and Conquer and Dune 2. So for them to get assimilated by EA and killed off, ugh, it's it's heartbreaking. Yeah. I mean, anyways, coming into Ooh. F1 2021... I learned there's legends. Oh no, you go all no, in. Uh, <laughs> you go. How much money are you gonna lose in legends if you don't mind me? Uh, no, I not as much as as much as I lost in part... Gacha game. Okay, like, like, okay the legends was part of the like the premium bundle basically. Deluxe edition. So, mm. uh, like the deluxe edition based on something like that. All right. Well, all right. well, but at least that goes my intern money. No, uh, but remember. Codemasters is still uh quite generous because like uh, last year I bought the seven the F one seventy edition and then the Michael Schumacher stuff at twenty bucks like twenty ringgit. Mm, so nah. it, it could be cheap. Like at the very least, right now they're putting the 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 genesis of the ultimate team pack by putting it on the deluxe edition. Oh, you want your like, you want you want Michael Schumacher to be your teammate? Extra money. But at least it's a guaranteed pool. <laughs> you know where they can go with this. <laughs> it's Mac, oh, Mac. Let's Mac, wait I cannot a few wait. years. <laughs> Mac, I cannot wait. F1 2023. Oh, I'm getting uh, Neymar. <laughs> <laughs> no, not Neymar. Team Curtis. Tibo Kotoa. Oh, yeah, Tibo Kotoa. He plays F1 and a keeper. A legit oh, keeper. Man. I think he what? Real Madrid? Yes. Yeah. Like, Real he, Madrid. Like, like, I think that he he played the F1 games casually so much. Yeah, that... from casually. Like, uh. I think like from the first uh, death, the last is virtual series, like from terrible to he literally in contention for a podium at the end of the virtual series. <laughs> like, among the so people basically. that are invited, like, so they, like they did, like, uh, basically a show, an uh, exhibition race, lah, with all the oh. celebs, the e-sport influencers, not e-sport, e-sports guys are on, in another planet, so they, they don't get to play nice with the normal people here. <laughs> he went, he, one of the races, he just finished training uh, for something, or is it after a match? And then after hops, a match. Like, legit match, right? And then after that, hops mm. on into the game. On stream, live. Did well. <laughs> totally, there. Thibaut Kota is, is, is totally gonna be a legend. <laughs> F1 legend. I mean, like, it was... To be honest, Kat Mac, uh-huh. I think, like, the signs of EA buying off Codemasters was early when they brought in Daniel Ricciardo and Lewis Hamilton to FIFA 21. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, I forgot. I remember they, they, that. They so good. <laughs> yeah, you can, you, can, you can play as Hamilton in the FIFA game. I forgot. <laughs> it was signs there. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, this is the kind of crossovers we are not as excited <laughs> 
<laughs> because of the money, we're gonna be as totted off. Oh man. Yeah. Uh, EA's machinations. Um, I think they completed the circle in terms of getting both the F1 and the FIFA brand together in one yeah. unholy crossover. Yeah. Oh my god. Mm. I mean, it's it's EA master plan after all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, imagine if like Fate Go and Genshin Impact were to crossover. Oh my god, that would be creepy. Oh my oh. god. No. Oh. The, the money sink. It'll be insane. The moment dude. that happens, I think that's I think that's gonna blow something up. And speaking yeah. about collapse. Yeah, yeah. Let's move to that. Yep. Oh yeah, collapse. Yes. Uh, because I and... have no idea about this, but I think that either you Toka or you Tofi might do know something about this. I have no um, idea. Toka, Toka will have to lead because this is actually the first time I'm hearing about this collaboration. Oh yeah. Okay. So basically, yeah. Mm. So basically, if you know me, I play gacha a lot and i lost i don't know how much i lost great right here this year on gacha and i just say all of it lah all of it no 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 60 percent oh okay 60 percent <laughs> okay good good 60 percent of it is lost and it's and it got split into three games like the first game would be azublin second game is girls frontline mm. who's not even in the play store because region locks of course. And then finally, get your impact. You know, because the new character came out. The first thing people thought is uh, Tango or something. Uh, Tango, um, as well as Thighs, because she's wearing leggings and short, hot... I'm not sure if they're hot pants or not. I don't know what they call it, but it looks like public corset or something. But she's really good. <laughs> I actually managed to roll her in my... First five tries, I was incredibly oh lucky goodness. to get her, and yeah, she hits like a beast, and I like her power ups. So... It pains me. To, it pains me to say this. I've been rolling for like eighty pulls. I still haven't gotten her. Oh damn! Right now, I think like, because I might have gotten a better character previously, though, right? That's how they yeah. calculate her. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, when it comes to Miho, you. I mean, it's only stated in the company logo, uh, company logo that yep. Otaku saved the world. So basically, a couple of days ago, they announced Honkai Impact 3, which is the main flagship, yep. other than Genshin Impact. Decided to collab with Genshin Impact. Now, oh, okay. Now, in honest, in honest common sense, I thought I was going to name the collab Honkai Impact, but I realized that that was already a thing, so... <laughs> So it's basically Genshin and Honkai. So basically, it's it's a Honkai Impact collaboration with characters coming in from Genshin. Oh, okay. So the game, okay, the game that's being focused on is Honkai Impact, and Genshin characters are coming into Honkai. Yeah, when I say characters, based on the based on the Chinese uh, live stream that that I watched a couple of days ago. So basically. So basically, you got two characters coming in from the game, mm-hmm. and a costume pack for a uh, for an existing character in Honkai Impact. So basically, okay. so basically for the game itself, you get two Thunder characters, which okay. is K- uh, Keqing. I don't know how to pronounce oh, it. Keqing, 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 yeah, Keqing, uh, Keqing, and Fischl. So basically, those are the two characters that will be coming over. Oh, she's my favorite official because she has this stupid thing where she talks all fancy and then people don't understand what the hell she's talking about. Because <laughs> And then she's also pretty powerful for a four-star character. So I kind of dig using her a lot. Uh, and I remember, I think I remember in the normal cutscene, Fisher was talking very normally. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so how would she translate in Honkai Impact? She's going to be a ranged character or... How? It's she's gonna she's still gonna be a range character, but the attack in Honkai Impact Three makes me wonder that if this was happening in Genshin Impact, mm-hmm. I think people would use her more than usual. Oh, okay. Because her skill, because her skill, when you use your E in Genshin Impact, usually you bring out the Raven. Uh, yeah, the Thunderbird. Uh, basically, yeah. uh, an assist. Uh, a satellite, satellite character. Yes, yeah, basically like a sat- satellite character. But in terms of Honkai Impact, it's not a raven. It's just basically 
shoot shoot one arrow into the sky and then a lot of thunder arrow comes down. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's so kind of Well, well, it's not kind of dull from what I see, but oh, okay, the, okay. but the attack combo is like really, really, really. I would say OP in terms of how kind impact. Okay, I guess I just have to see it lah, basically for myself. Yeah. Cause, okay, okay. I mean, as for cooking, uh, you still basically get the same skill. Okay. Okay. Yes, right. but she's mostly a melee, but by you know the slashes are uh, range, so is it basically it's the same as usual. And then okay. as for the costume, for the costume, if you know the character Klee? uh yeah yeah yeah, she's the the girl of the explosions, right? The little yeah, girl so, of the explosions. So basically, her costume will go to Terry in Honkai Impact Three. Okay, okay, fair enough. Which is based based on what I saw is very very disturbing. <laughs> okay, okay, I need to double check who Terry is. Give me a sec, yeah. Yeah, uh, don't. Worry. Terry. Theresa Apocalypse is that her? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, okay, I can see why. Got it. Got it. Um. Yeah, so it's my first time seeing Honkai Impact for a while. I mean, I played it for a bit, but wasn't really gelling with the com- with the gameplay for now. But maybe I should give it another chance. But yeah, Teresa, she's a lolly, I'm guessing, right? She, oh wait, she she looks like a young girl. Yes. Okay. Yeah, more of a young girl. But then, in terms of the details on the collab, so basically, you get the Wolf Boss from Genshin Impact to become also another boss in. In Hokkaido Impact during the event, mm-hmm. so basically you got the Wolf Boss and also Paimon, your emergency food. Oh yes, yes, Paimon. Oh, Sorry, what 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 will she be appearing again as? Paimon. I, I mean, should be a box or what? So no, 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 no. Uh, more sort of more like an NPC type of way. Oh, uh, okay, NPC. That will be but... interesting if he was a boss. But because, but because you know, people are making like mad, mad speculation on relating Paimon to a certain character in Honkai Impact, which is neither confirmed or denied at the moment. Uh, so basically, anything could happen. So have they made this news official yet, or this there should as be footage of this, right? As seen official, yes, but details are not being released in the EN in the EN social media. Ah, okay, okay. However, most details are already out in in a Chinese version. So basically, if you want to take a look on the content and everything, you can take a look there. So basically, you got. So basically, as for the characters, uh, one of them is gonna be an event pool, which is basically the same as all gacha games. Okay, okay. And then basically, and then you get a free character, which is free show. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. But yeah, but yeah, if they're doing this for Honka Impact, I don't know. I don't know what would happen if it if it was done in reverse. Like, how do you fit Honka Impact into Genshin Impact? Um, I guess the story writers can be like, maybe it's one of the characters from Honka Impact came across a portal or is it a fever dream, and then they make the appearance in the Genshin Impact fantasy universe. Honestly, it's up to the writers how they're gonna spin this, create the their narrative. It'll be bullshit, of course, but if it means more money for the Mihoyo, they'll find a way. They'll find a way. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I forgot one final announcement. Yeah. The collaboration will, in fact, take place in June ten, which is in a couple of weeks. But it is not confirmed for the global server yet, so. We'll see how it goes, but if assume that it's gonna be released with the newest version of Honkai Impact. Okay, okay, fair enough. Okay, cool, cool. And finally, I mean, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so basic, so basically, we we all know when some most gacha games have one thing in common. Mm-hmm. Which is them having a decent enemy. 
and I mean Genshin. I mean Genshin doesn't have it yet, but it could come soon. Who knows? Yeah, not yet, not yet. We, I think Mihoyo is busy still counting their money <laughs> <laughs> they to sort out the taxes before they be like, oh, we can allocate this much for uh, anime. Yeah, Sunrise to animate. I mean, I already seen Azul. Azulin, they have like two enemies. Okay. I I remember I hated the first one. To the point when you know the enemy is so bad, to the point where you fire the animators that made oh. this enemy. Holy shit. Okay. And then you use your and then they use the company money to make an animation studio in Japan. Mm. And Oof. they make another enemy and suddenly it's good. <laughs> I think my favorite so far is probably Princess Connect Redive. It's got that kind of like chill vibe to it like isekai but kind of funny like a konosuba but you know gentler if that's the proper term yeah i actually and, i mean plus the animation is kind of nice too so that helps a lot yeah. and i remember i remember there's another gacha game which is ghost front line which oh, is yes, basically yes. basically enemy girls with guns so basically they announce they announced their fifth anniversary lately in China, mm-hmm. with a full, uh, with a full, full combo event. Basically, basically, what I wish would happen with the end of twenty twenty one this year, which is CF, which oh, I don't course. think that would happen. Uh, yeah. What CF? What the hell is that? Is that yeah. a new event I never heard of? <laughs> <laughs> I but guess I guess, I guess if there's gonna be an online CF that 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 could be a thing. Back in my days, CF was counterfeit. <laughs> Back in the day, I used to see people running around KL Park with guns and fake swords. I, yeah, I used to see your swords bigger than your entire running body. Around. <laughs> I'm supposed to be running around. I remember. <laughs> Wink, wink, <laughs> wink, wink, uh, night, night. <laughs> uh the legacy. Yeah. By the ways, yeah. So about like, the anime, uh, how many episodes are there going to be? Have they announced, or who's the studio? The studio yeah. is going to be quite an interesting one because it's going to be designed by Warner Brothers. All right. So basically, I have no idea how how it's going to work, but based on the teaser they gave us. It's actually quite quite nice. Okay. And they are scheduled for a 2021 release, which is probably going to be the winter. As if the winter season is not pack, pack enough. Because there's a lot of good animes coming in on October. But yeah, basically... But yeah, basically the anime is... So basically the anime is going to be made by Warner Brothers. Which is which is odd because I can't remember Warner Brothers making anime. Well, I won't be I won't be too shocked because Warner Brothers have always had their pie in doing animation since you know when Bugs Bunny was created. So for yeah. them to spin off to anime or have their own silo for doing nothing but Japanese anime, it'll be it's nice news to hear that they're expanding, but it won't be surprising. I mean, they've been doing this since. Uh, you got the Batman animated series days, or hell, there was a recent announcement where they're going to make a Superman animated series where all the characters look like they came out from Voltron, Legendary Defender, and Avatar, like the art <laughs> style. So yeah. having, a, having a Warner Brothers Studio anime Japan site, not really surprising. Yeah. Anyways, I can't wait for my favorite gun, and for Salmod. Also, Dogu Gun. So basically waiting to be the animated. But yeah, I think that's about it for the anime itself. So what gun it was it me. again? Yeah, what M- was it called? What gun? M4 Sop Mod 2. M4? Sop Mod 2. Sop Mod. Yeah, it's actually a real gun, surprisingly. Yeah. M4 A1. It's, it's, it's it? a real gun. Why okay. I, but I think it, it reminds me of the Mark Zero Sop Mod. Mark Zero Mod, Mod Zero. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. Ah, uh, there. Sop mod. Special SOP op- mod. Uh, yeah. Spe- the orange hair, gold, red eyes and shit. Yes. Yeah, and he is like a dog. So. 
Oh, okay, okay, right. You know, right. Animal right. girl guns. <laughs> you know, uh, dog to war, etc., etc. These guys do anything. Yes. What have we become? Degenerate. Do they have anime stand gun though? Hmm? Do they have anime stand? Yes. <laughs> stand. Yes. British stand. I mean, they oh, even sure. had they even had Daniel's gun that that he used often in, I think, what is it called? The Call of Duty, um, the Carve, something, yeah, the Carve V. I don't know, I have no idea which you see, kind of an issue. There's a Call 98K. Oh, no, Carve no, no. okay. That you see something like a real gun, if I remember. Yeah, should, when I tried... Is it the bullpup? <laughs> if it's a bullpup, it's something uh, I don't Yeah, know. because the only gun I know is G11. SAT. So... Oh, that's a German... I think yeah, it's yeah. the part of the G3 program, yeah. G3, yeah. HK, G3, G11, yeah. Is there a Spaz 12? Oh, God. Yeah, you know what's crazy? It's that the anime is so big that when you type in the M4 sub mod, a, a, a picture of a girl pops up instead of the actual gun. Yeah, there <laughs> is a shotgun girl, yeah? That's Spaz yeah. 12? God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> they have AKS 70 for you. Yeah, uh, a yeah. girl will pop up. Yes, this is the world we live in, guys. This is the world we live. In. Uh, just, just like typing Arturia. I want the MIDI keyboard, not a, not saber. God damn it! I want, I want to know about the the, uh, the man who fall down Rome, not Nero. <laughs> anyway, girl. Anyway, goddamn character. Who's Jack the Ripper, and why is she a girl? <laughs> why does she have huge tits? What's wrong with this place? <laughs> Who is Queen I, I Elizabeth? Want, but why is she? I, she... Want, uh, I want legendary Tamamonomai, not this anime girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, degenerates have to be taken over the world. Yes. On yes, the other indeed. hand, degenerates know their history and general knowledge. <laughs> so, this <result. laughs> It'll be tough to do a history report if, let's say, I'm searching for pictures. I have to go to an actual Akit Nagara for this. If I were to do my research online, I'll be like, why are all these anime characters popping up? <laughs> When I'm searching for like, um, what's that like for Nero or like for a rifle historical rifle piece used in uh, World War Two? Wait, when you say that, that implies that the new generation of historians are secretly weebs. We yes. are <laughs> really much, really much, really much. <laughs> oh, you a gun nut? Are you secretly a weeb? <laughs> oh, you know about your ships? Oh, you like naval warfare? Yeah, that that's kind like collection for you. <laughs> that's kind of like... There's uh, what the early historical. Uh, Kankoli no longer... It somewhat exists, but... Yeah. It's under their radar. Yes, I, I think guess. guns are the new Kankoli, is it? it? I mean, Arzulin takes over Kankoli right now. Arzulin. Uh, yes, Arzulin, yeah. I mean, they're coming out with a new event, which is, I can't take another one. Because uh, if there's one thing with me and the ships... If it, it, uh, I think Yosta of all, of all, uh, gacha de- developers, they emphasize heavily on swimsuits. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, they're the guys who made Art Knight, right? Yes. Okay. That's also another fetish on its own. Like, you've got dog people, you've got humans, yeah. uh, a pool people, uh, I, I think you are furries in this game, right? All dressed up in war gear and, like you said, like, swimsuits. Yeah, that's the reason. Uh, it's always, it's, it, there's always a reason for that. <laughs> no. I'm I sure, justified I'm sure. my plot. Okay. Justify my plot. <laughs> I, I, remember, I remember maybe a month ago, they did a collab with Ubisoft, of all people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. the, division, the, the Division uh collab. No, it's not. No, the division is with Ghost Fight Line. Okay. So basically, what they did was Rainbow Six. Oh yeah, Lotus. Rainbow Six. So basically, imagine Tachanka is a playable character. Lord Tachanka <laughs> is a weeboo. God damn it! Tachanka is a weeboo. I the know. Lord, the Shem Lord known. is a weeb. Praise the uh, Lord, the shield. ultimate weeb. <laughs> so basically, if I, so basically, <laughs> shield all the enemy <laughs> girls. <laughs> no, basically, what I remember from the collab. Four characters from Rainbow Six, which is Tachanka is a feet character. Okay. Ash, obviously. And then you got Blitz and Frost, which is all 
which have new voice lines, and it's from the same actors. Oh wow! Okay, that's dedication. Yeah. So basically, imagine hearing Russian in in an English game. In a <laughs> that's Japanese Pachanka, based right? English game. Do they have like uh, rabbit ears or animal ears or their regular yes, humans? Yes, uh, I remember there was. Uh, I remember there was a skin for Ash, which is like like a rabbit. Oh, okay, raving rabbit. Then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh no! Uh, I, I need of... to bring that soundboard again. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. And, and of course, with Ubisoft, with the Chanka, you have to give the Lord special treatment. So okay. basically, you get Lord the Chanka in an apartment. With a with a pizza box, but instead of pizza box, it's the gun magazine. Okay, okay. Well, the sad well the sad news is it's in China, so I don't know when e- English is gonna get that privilege. But when it oh, comes, oh, so it's for China for now. Okay. Yeah, China, China always get the good stuff first. Mm-hmm. I mean, they made the game, so yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, when English comes out, the first thing they're gonna talk is Tchamka, I hope. Okay. And that's about it. That's the end of the weep talk. Yes. <laughs> wow. I'm surprised. I mean, I could go. We... Yeah, I'm su- I mean, I could go longer, but I'm surprised. It it like... o- it only requires one other guy to riff on, and then you can go for <laughs> the long distance. Like, uh, I was listening right now. I'm listening to like uh, the Emilia Watson for the BGM, and it finished. That's how long it was. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> um, so, uh, in in web related games, <laughs> I guess I have to talk just a bit about the Fantasy Star Online Two New Genesis uh, Close Beta, which happened last weekend from the day of the recording here. PSO two and GS. So for yeah, those... how's that so far? So yeah, f- how's that so far? It was what I expected. It was good. It was a different PSO two, but I think it is. How do I put it? First, first, let's put it into perspective. PSO two is already a game, an established game, already like I forgot. Was it ten years? It released in twenty twenty two. Well, it came out on the well, it came out on the Dreamcast. Oh, you're talking about P- PSO two. Just uh, PSO two. Yeah, two thousand twelve or eleven around two thousand thirteen, two thousand twelve, thirteen like that. Because uh, I remember Asia Soft was trying to bring that. Yeah, around that, time. around that time, and PS PSO as a series, we longer right as yeah. you said, Dreamcast or even earlier, I think. Uh, Dreamcast. Uh, Fancy Star, the RPG was on uh, Master System. Mm-hmm. And then PSO Online was Dreamcast. Right. So this game is already old. So what they plan to do with New Genesis is basically rather than like, oh, we just add more content to this ongoing MMO, we're gonna uh, ram reborn it, but we don't kill the off the base game. So okay. you have two games in one. <laughs> Oh wow! Uh, okay. the, the idea okay. is that oh, if you want to go like say oh you you booting up in new Jedi's Ace, but if you want to oh can I play back into the base game? Oh, just that's the portal over there, and you you are booted back into the base PSO two. And what makes it even weirder is that uh, character the character you make it can be imported, can be cross over into back from base to AGS and back. And a lot, some of the cosmetics also carry over. So the thing about okay, now uh, I gotta, now I gotta ask, uh, how does the game play like when you start doing your quests and all that? What's the feel? You know, like how's the action like? Okay, compared to PSO two, PSO two is more Monster Hunter light, where the the gameplay loop is like, oh, you go, uh, go to the quest area, grab a quest, go into a portal. Uh, ready up at your basically your camp basically like a gateway station and then you drop into the zone which is a very uh i don't i cannot say is it procedure generated or is it like a very defined zone i think it's a defined zone let's put it there at the end of the stage there's a boss a big boss combat is sort of like monster hunter but it's not it's not like 
long animation style it's not methodical mm. but you still have to like keep a rhythm in like if you press the button at the correct time you do more damage that's PSP SO2 for mm. new Genesis it's now an open world game yeah, they don't call it open world they call it open field but basically for all intents and purposes it's an open world game there's a mm. hub you go out of the city you will immediately instance into a, a new zone and people are populated in there. And then you okay. remove it. Oh, no loading at all. Oh, no loading. Uh, okay, good. It's all seamless. Good. I mean, the only hiccup is because of, I, I feel like server issues. But when when the servers were like, nobody was there, it, it feels like seamless. You just go here and then everything just loads up uh, normally. Like, you uh, you can see the pop-ups here and there. Lah, but basically, seamless. Okay, okay. Combat also feels different. Rather than like instead of the the whole oh you gotta press to the beat and get your rhythm on no 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 you just you just hold the button, and then you do your attack string, as okay. as it, as it does. So now so it it's feel, like an action RPG like oh style? yeah it it feels more I want to say it feels more like a traditional MMO but I'm not sure if I've I don't play enough MMOs to say that. I'm not sure if Final Fantasy XIV plays like this, but I feel like it kind of is. Because okay. the... Uh, FF14 uh, is... Uh, they do rely on, like, a cooldowns and menu period. So when you're attacking, even though you're moving from a different spot, you're not actually avoiding the attack. You'll still get the attack hit. So most MMOs, they basically play out through, like, timers, cooldowns, all happening in real time. Whereas what you're describing right now for PSO New Genesis, it feels more like a... Hack and slash instancing, like um, I guess the closest uh, comparison is probably a Dragon Nest or any of those uh, Korean MMOs where they rely on more action. Yeah, or Genshin Impact, Genshin Impact, you know, in the sense. Okay, you say Genshin Impact, put a bookmark on there. We'll go back there. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. In terms of combat, yeah, I think it's more Korean MMO. Now I think it's more Black Desert. It feels <laughs> like so it's action oriented. It's basically you do combos, you assign buttons, uh, you assign like actions to your like, you have like three attack buttons essentially and then you press another button to switch to the other three. So basically you have six active buttons lah if you play on the controller. But even with the with the keyboard and mouse, you also have to like bind six of, of the buttons to be like, those are your action buttons. Then you right, can right. bind like... A whole key of yeah, you know your your standard uh number key areas of like oh you want to put your spells here or you want to put your items here. So it's so combat feels a bit different, but I like how it's it's different. It's not like it's it's not better. It's different. Okay. Like okay. even like some of the new skills they call it photon arts. Like for the basic ass hunter, which is basically the sword guy, for mm-hmm. PSO two. You now have like, you have aerial control with one of your skills. So basically, you do like you charge it, and then you do like boom, 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 boom. You basically like whirlwind 360 around, mm-hmm. like spin the sword around you. While you're doing that, if you are uh, like in the air, you kind of get you can when you even charging the the, the attack, you kind of like have the the control to like move around in the air, and then when you pull the swings. You also like can control it around. So basically, you have a lot of like, um, it's much more maneuverable uh, compared to like base PSO two, and it makes a lot of sense because the enemies this time are much much bigger, like skill wise. Okay. Like like, basically, if you just standing down there, you basically you, you some of the monsters they call it dolls in this one. You the basically the size of the foot. So to the point that when there's this boss encounter where you will, it's basically their version of a raid but not really because they are uh, kind of simplified. They call it okay. urgent quest, limited time events basically. To the point that when you want to, when you enter the arena, when you enter the instance, they have to put like these things called like updrafts where you can like hover if you like, you can guide, glide up above. So just to get some height to reach like the chest or the the arms or maybe the head mm, speaking okay, of okay. which That's interesting dude yeah speaking of which uh, the biggest difference uh, for new genesis is that traversal you you get a lot of traversal moves 
You basically okay. there's a there's a dash, an infinite dash, and you know it's fast because you see all the the particles and speed lines going from the foot. It's just okay. effects, but you really do go fast. And okay. you get a basically a double jump. You get a glide, and you kind of get the we say you can also climb over walls. Like you get a free wall jump each time you if you hit a wall. So basically, you can like tr- climb above stuff lah. Com- combine that with those updrafts where they are basically kind of like littered around the world. You can basically mm-hmm. just climb around the. Just climb around the landscape because some the landscape, from what I've seen the close beta, like there are like cliffs over here. There is like high mountain areas over there, and the way it's not is very vertical. There's waterfalls that you can climb on if you find a way. So, it's kind of fresh to see how how free you can move around. It's kind of janky a bit lah, but I I kind of don't get the. Uh, a feel for it, especially the the auto wall jump because it's automated. I keep on like matching jump 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 because I hope that I can like uh, skyrim my way on top of a mountain with that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So it's a bit hit uh, like force of habit, lah. Uh, ah, okay. yeah. But but I think there's there's something like they they can still tweak around. Uh. But but as a concept, I think it's kind of cool move. On the topic of Genshin, in fact. Mm, yes, yes. So the weird thing is by ma- making all this, uh, the these changes, right? I feel uh-huh. like new Genesis feels more like an like Genshin Impact the MMO more. Hmm. Interesting. Big home there. Like you okay. have like the 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 map here. You have a hub at the center of the map, a big yes. city, which is basically your hub, and then you can go around and tra- uh, encounter enemies, of course, and then you can also like find secrets. Like treasure chests and so on, and maybe mm-hmm. hunt for resources. You can also hunt like there are like, uh, what they call it, endemic, uh, basically tame animals. Not they are roaming around. They don't attack you, so you can you can get uh you can kill them for for food for food and materials. Also, there's these things called cocoons and towers, which basically, it's like a. Uh, you know how Genshin Impact has an instance where you just go into a gate and then you you can match make and then you enter yeah, yeah, a dungeon. Yeah, yeah. It's basically that. But, oh, okay. But instead of like going into a dungeon, you go into like a VR simulation or something. Yeah. So a lot of the a lot of the similarities. The way I would describe New Genesis is if you like Genshin Impact, give this game a look. <laughs> Because instead, okay, because, that is a selling point. That uh, is a selling point. Because instead of like, uh, rather than you are collecting, uh, that there is still a gacha apparently. That's a, oh, a whole thing about PS2. But the <laughs> but the bit is that instead of like you pulling characters, you are you are making your own characters. Instead of of getting your waifus, you can make your own waifus. And the the character creation this time for New Genesis, they really upgraded it. Mm, to the point yes, that I think, yeah. you, of course, the you can customize everything like from the small bits, like how the eyes land, how the nose is perk up. Uh, yes, there's a boob slider. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> uh huh. A lot of those, you know, how body. Uh, a lot of the shapes can be changed. Uh, new to G- new Genesis, uh, you can mix and match uh the races. So basically, before in this PSO two. You have race bonuses. So if you pick human, you have bonus to this. If you pick the Mac boys and Mac girls, the cast, uh, mm-hmm. you get you get these bonuses. Now you can just mix and match. Oh, you want the robot head on your girl? Go for it. <laughs> oh, okay, that's uh, pretty cool. You, I mean, yeah. if you want to mix and match male and female body parts, sure. But the thing is, the 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 one limitation I found is that you still cannot mix and match uh, male and female uh, outfits. Because I think that's tied to you know how the skeletal and stuff, so that's a bit more work for them. But in terms of your, if you want your body parts to be either masculine or feminine, you want to mix it up, or you want to be for robot, half robot or something, go for it. Okay. Uh, Now you mentioned gacha. That was interesting. Sorry, what is it that you can buy in Fancy Star uh, New Genesis? Okay. 
this is something like a carryover from Beast PSO2 lah. The way they monetize is of course, oh, you have your subscription, and the other thing is, oh, you you want to you want your gacha stuff. So mm. this is like stuff that will carry over from PSO2 lah. Uh, you can you can gacha for cosmetic stuff. So basically, mm. oh, they gonna do a new season. Oh, this is like oh the new cosmetics you can get for male or female. Most of the time, of course, you won't get the 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 parts you want. It's okay. There's a there's an option over there. So there's an auction house. So if you want like a particular thing that from the gacha drop, you can just search around the market and see if someone is selling. Probably they are scalpers, but you find it uh, good enough. You can find a good deal. Okay. Using in-game money, by the way, the the auction. So you can totally play it for free. But of course, the 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 you know the 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 cost for playing for free is time. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm as I'm excited to see what else it. Uh, they've been showing a lot in the 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 broadcast be- from before, and from what I've played is basically what they've been telling everyone lah. Expectations have been met. It's the case All of right. it's the case of how much content they can put out when if it will launch right in June. Like for the next six months or until the year ends, right? Ah, uh, yeah, that's that's the case because if it's cut, because of course, like there's like limitations. Uh, they they gonna scale back in terms of content because PSO two is like almost a decade of game, so there's plenty of content. This one they have to scale down. Oh, you now have only the six base classes. You're missing a lot of the classes from base game. So okay. that's. There's always like that. Uh, I'm betting that cosmetics will slowly get there. They're gonna add more, but it's gonna be a long time. Content-wise, we'll see if there's enough variety. The big battles are fun, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm actually excited. I want to actually wait for like the full version of the game to come out, which is like you said, lah, June. Because I've been looking at the videos and the presentations in English and. They are very, very promising, and plus you already sold it to me already, lah. Like it plays like Genshin Impact in a sense, and mm. you can go nuts in the open world, and you got some sci-fi, crazy stuff going on. So that sounds pretty cool. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it is interesting. I like the. It's still my my takeaway from it is like it's different, but it does doesn't necessarily like uh makes PSO two irrelevant. Maybe mm, that's good. Uh, yeah. Maybe in terms of fashion, because you know the 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 new the new hair, the new body parts, they look much more immaculate compared to like base game. But still, uh, some people would like maybe prefer to like hold on to their their PSO two uh, cosmetics. Like this, you can dress up as Chie Satonaka on a, <laughs> with a oh, Sonic Patona, the Hedgehog yeah. helmet. <laughs> You can nice, do that. Nice. Yeah, and I think recently they put uh, Kasuga Ichiban suits as a gacha. <laughs> oh, that is awesome, dude. Yeah, because I just remember, yeah, PSO Sega Index. Mm. Yes, you're going to get all the Persona and the Yakuza stuff inside. Mm. And also some bunch of, like, uh, anime properties. I don't, I'm not sure if it's anime, but I assume it's anime because I don't know. <laughs> there, there are a lot Basically, of whatever this. Sega owns, lah. Whatever mm. Sega owns. So it does make sense. Yeah, this is actually an interesting uh, work that Sega is doing because this is the first time I'm hearing a base game getting an improvement where you can actually go back to the base game if you want. Because as far as I know, most of these MMO improvements basically are making the previous ones obsolete. I think the biggest, most popular one is still FF14 because the base game sucked Mm -hmm. to the point where the revamp basically changed everything and made it great again la, to the point where you get concerts and fan events that happen on the weekend or so yeah for ff14 and a lot of fans la, for the game yeah i'm i'm still surprised by that but we'll see how it pans out my yeah. oh my, when when you mentioned about that now that now i remember my big worry about ngs the file is the file size oh yes uh, how big is it pso2 only is already 70 gigs Okay. How much? PSO2. That almost decade old game. 70. 70 GB. Yeah, and then, <laughs> what, then what about NGS? Uh, how much will that be extra? Oh, uh, yeah. Now, now that's a big worry. I, 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 
uh, we'll find out when when it comes out. But oh boy, be ready, I guess. You so say, it's basically you call on three levels of yeah. Harvest. That's why right. Warzone towers in fear. Yeah. <laughs> At least it's a stand work in progress rather than like a yearly thing. <laughs> <laughs> it just keeps on it keeps on creeping up. I mean, so I don't think this game will be on the PS5 lah because of the hard disk space. <laughs> uh, or the PS4, uh, yeah. But I think it's it's PlayStation. Uh, PlayStation is getting it. I think only in Japan. Global does not. Include, yeah, global is uh, Xbox. Glo- uh, global will be Xbox. Uh, I yeah, think yeah. I think Microsoft paid a lot of money to get the global release for PSO2. Uh, and plus, and plus, Xbox you can actually get the extra hard disk, so it's not a total <laughs> loss, lah. <laughs> uh, Come on. Come on, PlayStation. SS- <laughs> we have the M2 slot already. Come on, just give us. Yes. <laughs> so that's that's uh, PS2 New Genesis. Cool, cool. I'm looking forward to that, but glad that you're happy, lad, because that was a game you're looking forward to. Yeah, at least I have something to do until September. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> my Man. god. Man! And I have to handle all the current gen games. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, Daniel. That's all oh, I want God. for you. I'm looking at the at the schedule uh, because uh, the, it's either because oh we have like limited games that we get codes and when we do get one, there are limited games that I am interested in. So most of them, like, okay, Daniel, me, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think they just have like maybe two games in line. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, also, development from other companies. For all you know, they're probably, hey, we're going to release this game. Oh, it turns out we're delaying it because COVID. Yeah. Can be helped lah, can be helped. Can be helped. Oh, before we move to the news, I need to hear the news thing. One more thing. Oh, oh, yeah. what's that? Oh, is it the Destiny? The, the other MMO. <laughs> the ah, yes. The other and MMO. The MMO. <laughs> oh, right. Yes, go ahead, Daniel. Uh, talk about... All right. Your... My... Current rabbit hole, <laughs> uh, because uh recently, the season the new season started. I think season fifteen. What's the game again? Of, of Destiny Two. Uh, I think you heard of it, Mac. Oh yes, yes. This is the season with the fallen babies, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a cute, adorably. I I won't say they're hideous. They're more like creepily cute in a sense. Yeah, no, it's like, it's interesting. Like the law that they. The current law basically is that uh, they have allowed uh, a new batch of fallen mm-hmm. to live with inside within the tower, basically, due to the fact that uh, now, besides them sunsetting guns, they have already also sunsetted the sunset. <laughs> oh, <that's> so <laughs> okay, okay. So the sun is gone, and the only person that knows why is. The guy, the fallen guys, basically, because you know they, I think, like in one of the lore, like right, they say that oh, there will come a day where the tra- where the sun will not come or something like that. I think. Oh boy, and no. they were actually a noble race. In that was explained in the previous Destiny expansion last year yeah. before they turned like freaks la, or or savages, yep. and yeah. then they turn, they, and then they fallen. Hence yeah, the they're name. fallen. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I mean, they are uh, quote unquote blessed with the light as well, right? Yeah. Uh, so, hey, they... so how's the storyline and how's the mission so far for you, Daniel? Like, it is interesting. Like the storyline right now is that this is that uh, they know the fallen knows that we are a bunch of idiots who wasted the light. Basically, <laughs> the thing. Basically, the thing that we can get a uh, regen. Yes. Yeah, the thing like two sports, dumbass sports like Gambit mm. and Crucible. Oh yeah, so they know we about have, that. We have the power to respawn. Really what people, do we do? Yeah. Kill each other. <laughs> yeah. What's and they also said we are dumbass. Hilarious, man. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. That is one of the best. Nah, that's the best one. Like, oh, we know. We know you guys are doing that for fun, like, and you guys are dumbasses. <laughs> <sighs> And, like, I think the best part is that it's, it is, like, right now, like, hitting to a, basically a civil war between, uh, like, titles like uh, Lakshmi doesn't like this new uh, fallen team coming into the tower. Basically, they, 
the I think like the the most funniest thing about the this part is that Lakshmi's new team is called Death Cult, War Cult, or something like that. Oh, are they the Fusu War Cult? Yes. War Cult. Uh, I mean, it's in the name. Like, it's in the name. Like it's already yeah, like WC, Yes. Yeah. It's just like oh no! This next season they're going to be going to into battle, aren't they? <laughs> Interesting. Now you're making me want to go back to the rabbit hole. Come to think of it. Once I've done with all this other stuff that I, I have, I think yeah, the new strike is quite interesting as well. Like, there's also like a law, law-ish thing because, uh, is because now, uh, since they are planning to go crossplay in the next season, I think. Okay. Now strike teams are six people instead of three instead of four. Nice. Okay. Okay. And I think there's no law reason yet why there are not six people in six people in a team. But I, I don't think they need to explain. It's just like, oh, now we can go six people into this strike, which is now uber hard because... Yeah, yeah. We're going to make it extra tough. So, hence the extra people. Yeah, yeah. It, it, is, it is hard. I've, uh, I've played it like... I think it's one of the new guided strikes. Like, it, I am now at the level cap, which is uh, once... One three seven zero because yeah one three seven zero that's the the level cat right now, like oh god it is hard the new one, and this is with six people by the way because I just joined a random, <laughs> a random uh lobby and I'm like oh no, mm. we are literally doing nothing. We can't contribute. Is it? <laughs> yeah, that's why. Right. Oh, is, is, is this the new thing from the season pass again? No, no, this is not. This is not. This is, but this oh, is yeah. the new strike. What's, what's the, the new six people? Ah, what's the name? Uh, I forgot already. Hold on, let me double check. But yeah, yeah we can is, just check. Yeah. Like, but like the six people strikes is a very good in- uh, introduction. I think like battle arena is it the new thing? Let me check. Well, well, you talk. But it is uh, quite interesting because now since we do have like uh four elements now, which is, thanks to the new uh Beyond Light uh DLC. Yes, it is called the Corrupted Strike. Corrupted five six five eighty strike. I have no idea why is it called like that, but oh well. <laughs> I see. And it is chaotic right? because like I said there's four elementals now so let's say okay. two two each every every two players have their own like two electric two fire two uh, ice and two upper uh, or maybe that a combo of three maybe three fire and three what, whatever I forgot the name the darkness power because it's stasis. so generic as well. stasis yeah uh, stasis, because yeah. it's not it's so technically just game. ice powers is 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 more like that yeah crowd control yeah control yeah uh, it's so good but it's got that like nice he's... sound when you use it i kind of like using stasis when i'm the warlock yeah so cool yeah so it's very speak. cool but i but i think like the one thing i don't like is that the new shaded, the new armor thing, I think. Transmog, armor synthesis. Yes, yes. It's so hard. I, I understand why people are complaining now. It's so hard. God damn. Yeah, I'm hearing the a lot of my terrible. videos and Reddit threads explaining why they hate the transmog system so much. So You have to draw in like, uh, like my one. I have to do eight, like eight, like I think eight strikes, eight strikes. Plus with uh five matches with Crucible, I like oh no, I don't like Crucible. Uh, yeah, and you have not to a win. Fan of the PvP. Yeah. yeah, and you have to win the Crucible, so which is already like oh no. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. No participation <laughs> prize for you, buddy. Yeah, you have to win. But, uh... At least Iron Banner is okay. It's <laughs> much more bearable. And until everyone goes with uh have to do that rocket launch or jet team or something uh, oh god damn it everyone is gonna spam this thing yes, mm. so you're also playing the that's what that's the strike you're referring to the override in europa is it yeah i yeah they just updated it to get six yeah. people yeah I yeah this is the, the one PT. because okay, it was okay. it was earlier this year it was in p uh 
uh, public testing and now it's fully hence okay. why everybody just jumping on the six man train mm mm-hmm. yeah this looks pretty cool i might want to jump on board again need to find free time so mm-hmm. i tried jumping waiting. in a bit and then i remember mm-hmm. that i'm still power level 1 to something and oh no how many strikes do i need to play to oh, get the good ones i played uh so far i don't know i played like 15 more up the level cap so i got a lot have fun oh that's that's <laughs> uh, the only you, thing you guys have a pc right so i can so i'm on it. xbox ah, right now right. i've just transferred over from my pc account Oh, well, but there's crossplay coming soon, right? So yeah, that's right. In the yeah. next season, so I'm just waiting on that as well. Okay, so right cool, now, cool, cool. my solo. <laughs> there's, there's, yeah. Uh, th- now there are two issues about Destiny Two for me. One is that I still not agreeing with uh, the way they monetize it. It's too expensive for me. Yeah, uh, it's very expensive. And the other, this season pass, uh, this season pass actually, this season is like twenty dollars. So. 65 like, ringgit standard lah but best ah, 65 yeah, yeah. 65 standard for season Gila. pass lah but still <laughs> i I'm, i'm i'm not so they keep on making discounts for the old expansions i keep, i keep on thinking about it but then i say nah remember the sunset okay yeah <laughs> now not even the sun is sunset uh, <laughs> yes <laughs> in the game i mean yeah. and, and then when i think okay maybe maybe i hop in in the season pass and then i remember oh well, you to 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 get into the fun, you have to grind back first. For now, you are stick with the blue gear. Oh God, that's my only problem. If they are, if uh the grind to like for like for, let's say the for for laps people to like come back and get back to Ooh, to, to like to to get into the correct power level. If they make that easier, I would. Oh, happily, like jump back uh, in for each new season. You can't season. make it easier. You can't make it easier. No money, please. No. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. If you they they are making addicts. Oh, remember the shabu shabu thing? Yeah. <laughs> shabu shabu. Yeah, the destiny shabu deal is like very raw. I'm still not so. I'll take a look here and there sometimes, but every time I try to like put in real time. I I remember that nah you better put money rather than your time it's gonna be a long while until you get to the fun bit again. Oof. Oh my god! I can't yeah. believe like every time I tweet if I tweet that out that like, Destiny Shabu Shabu that's the first thing it comes out is our video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go for it, man. <laughs> oh my god. But at least people I have... I enjoy it. I have no problems yeah. with the people playing Destiny. I'm 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 having the problem with Destiny Street, <laughs> not not the people. <laughs> just to be clear, I'm already like I think I level spool on the mm-hmm. basic se- on the basic uh seasons. Mm-hmm. And oh boy, the strikes. The strikes thing is like it's like a roulette right now. Like you could have good teammates or you could have. Five, uh, uh, like three. Five random who three. don't know what the hell they're doing. Yeah, no, my my last track was three randoms that doesn't know what they're doing. Like mm-hmm. while the like those like, in other level thirty or forty of the season pass, like okay, just follow us. <laughs> yeah, at the very least, open up comms lah for these people but somehow. Communication is always key for these kind of games, anyway. Eh, on the bright side, at least now you can you can customize your armor to look like a Gundam. Ah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, transport wise, I'm sorted. I I have a I have a look I have in mind, and I think you get, like, you can get a full set, like for free, right? Technically free because they give you away the the stuff, but yeah, anymore, and then and then you gotta go on to the grinder. That's the problem. People want to grind, but not that kind of grind. Yeah, true that. Mm. Oh, destiny. Ah, destiny. It it just like Call of Duty and the other things. This won't go away. It will always be in the talk. Not for a very long time. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. At least the money is going to Bungie itself, not so much an evil corporation. Bungie is getting everything. In hopes of probably making the game better than it used to be. 
Wait, isn't Bungie now uh, owned by te- uh, Tencent or something like that? God damn it. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. I, on that note, let's go to the news. Yep. Um, <laughs> and to the news. Ooh, yeah, this is a news. long one. But let's get it oh. on. Yeah. So, we're just going to start with the big news. Because it is a game which I and Meg have played during the beta of its original launch. Oh, you Overwatch. mean the better days? <laughs> the better days, yes. Yeah. Let's, go, yes. <laughs> Let's go with that. Better days. <laughs> yeah, so Overwatch 2. It's, it's been revealed. That game. That game. That oh my god, sorry, that, that's, <laughs> right. that's it. the problem. It's... It's dead before it arrives. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's go. Why Why some people are calling it dead? What's it? Yeah, why what are they calling it a dead game? Yes. What's been revealed here? So, what if they've revealed for Overwatch 2, uh, RIP second tank, because there will be only 5v5 now instead of 6v6. Uh, Dynamics have changed, basically. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Let's change. Wait, wait. wait. It, it's PvP. Okay, they're changing the PvP dynamic, I see. Okay. Even though they, they say it's Overwatch 2 should be like PvE focus, I'm not sure about this one. <laughs> yeah, I think they did explain it in the live stream, but I didn't catch that part. All I did was basically just saw like cliff notes and just wrote the news and also saw like some tidbits like May is getting an endothermic blaster. She doesn't freeze enemies in place. But yeah. she ends up slowing them down and dealing additional damage. So I think that's a good that's a nice trade off for the Mila. Evil has been defeated. Yeah. <laughs> I, think having, I think having uh, dots is even worse, basically. Would be worse. Yeah, but I guess people too much complaining about the being freeze, so yeah, yeah, now you're gonna complain with dots. about getting slowed down and dying faster. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Now now you got poison ice. Yes, poison. Oh. Thank you. That's the word. Poison. Mm. Let's see if this is your evil e- reincarnate or what. <laughs> also, they, they've evil like point, oh? they've locked the uh, okay. It's five v five, but they also like lock the rules now. Yeah, it's like two uh two DPS, two ta- uh two DPS, two tanks, like two DPS, two healers, and one tank. Man, we playing football or what? <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> oh, I, I'm they're sorry. also doing. Oh, we playing play Dota. <laughs> Yeah, it's oh. actually sounding more and more like Dota, come to think of it. Uh. Yeah, 5v5. Five, five five. Yeah. I think that's what they're going for. Oh, man. Why? Isn't Ball... this basically Smite? No, this <laughs> is Battle oh, yeah. This is Battle Smite. <laughs> no, this is Battle basically Ball. Smite, dude. <laughs> dude, Battle Pawn died for this. To see uh, Overwatch yeah. 2 becoming... <laughs> You know oh, what Battle uh, Bond has? Don't forget, uh, PvE. they're also doing some buffs. Uh, support characters have now P- passive healing abilities. And tanks will take less damage and will probably have defense buffs as a result. Okay, okay. 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 I but mean, I... <laughs> bye bye Jeff Kaplan. I mean, he's already <laughs> bye gone. Bye Jeff. He's, not even, he's not even in, the, in this uh, live stream. Also, Mac, have you seen the Monaco map? Oh yeah, at least that's Ooh. good. At least that's the F1 car, okay. Mm. 10 out of 10, best game. No, they, they <laughs> even have that, 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 what is that hairpin? I forgot the name. That icon Lose. hairpin. Yeah, yeah, Lose Lose oh, wait. No, 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 okay. The one that you go down around the casino and then you, you go down yeah, there yeah. while you have yeah, hairpin. Lo- that I, thing. I, I think it's like uh, Perfermont or something. That was the new name, but it is the hairpin. Two turns okay, before yeah. the tunnel, essentially. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, the, uh, the, the yeah. tight hairpin I see, okay. So okay. someone's been watching Drive to, drive to Survive. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all they need to do for a Monaco map is they put a casino and they put a car. It, there or... is a casino. There is, is a casino, yes. So yeah. they, one, the map is literally Casino Square. Uh, so they've, they've named Monaco, man. That's basically, that's, that, that's the whole nation represented. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, 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 the principality known for only two things cars and casinos <laughs> yeah uh, the easiest map they've done in years <laughs> also some other changes to the characters uh, Winston has an alternate fire for his Tesla now if you hold the charge button if you charge it it shoots out a longer range blast of lightning so it's like a like a like a real gun for Winston but shorter okay 
Uh, Zarya has wow. two charges for her bubble shield, and oh, no. <laughs> Reinhardt has two fire strike charges. Oh um, no! Uh... I think this is the buffs for the tanks they're talking about. Yeah. So, so yeah. I guess. Uh, what's the name of the woman with the four legs? The robot Orisa, right? Orisa, yeah, Orisa. Orisa yeah. Uh, who else are tanks again? Oh, Roadhog are gonna get similar kind of buffs, definitely, to offset the fact that there's only one tank in the team. Yes, yeah, so, yep. yeah. I mean, I mean, personally, I'll put uh, Roadhog in a DPS, I guess, because it's a it's a much higher offensive power. Roadhog can hook Four twice. Defense. Imagine yeah. that. <laughs> oh my god. Or oh, even better, imagine three times. <laughs> the, it, the spam, I can imagine it just suck in like Greeks or whatever with the big hole. Oh yes, that off. Oh, the spam, the spam. Oh man. Hook shot. Tapi right. no news oh, for oh, he'll, get, he'll get double vip. Yeah. <laughs> but no news of buff from best for best girl diva. Uh, oh, Diva <laughs> will probably have a buff. Definitely, we just had, we just don't know what the buff will be yet. Why? Uh, Maybe the explosion she has for a robot will be a longer, bigger range. Definitely. Ah, uh, just make it a nuke. Okay, end game. <laughs> <laughs> half, a map, half a map nuke. Imagine that. End game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we win. Everybody hates us. <laughs> yeah. uh, in any in any case, I think the direction they're going for is like to offset the less. One less tank, they're gonna buff all the tanks. I'm, st- yeah. I'm, st- I'm still, I don't know how much does the competitive scene have changed Overwatch, uh, Overwatch's. Dead. I think they're complaining dead. as we speak. They're dead. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> it's as much. I think besides like the Overwatch in Korea, which and I Overwatch think, League, yeah, uh, like which is still going things. on. Other than the US and Korea, it's basically yeah, dead yeah. It's other than US and Korea, Asia, uh, Europe is dead, basically. Uh, yeah. I don't think people playing Overwatch over here now. Who cares? I, mobile I, Legends, I mean, maybe. Yeah, yeah, Mobile Legends and yeah. uh, PUBG. Yes, that's, really? that's, the, that's the new shit yeah. right now. I, I mean, one of the reason Overwatch is sort of dead competitively is Blizzard is really tight on their licensing for tournaments. If you see the terms and condition, they're like they want. It's sort of like you have to be their slave in order yeah, to make tournaments, even though it's community. But it's yeah. not, I mean, the community are trying. I mean, the Singapore yeah. group, you know, they did their best. The Malaysian group for a time, they really did their best. But I don't know, lah. there's a lot of people who didn't want to support it back in 2019. No, no, no. It, I mean, it really sucked. It, it really sucked. Everything needs to be endorsed under Blizzard and licensed, yeah. basically. Like, you cannot do small time. Okay, we're going to do like a... Cyber Cafe something. No, no, and no. The players mentality, just and the players' mentality yeah. towards that, especially for Malaysia and Singapore, did not help. La. So community, yeah. I won't say they're at fault. I'm not pointing fingers. But there are people who really did try their best to make the organization and the esports side of things work. It's just that the community just aren't that gung-ho about it. Uh, yeah. Which really sucks. Yeah. Not enough you know enough of the right people at the right time at the right circumstances yeah. so yeah and, we, and i mean yes yes they are right people and not that, helping either it's not yeah, yeah. <laughs> there were right people uh just the right just the bad timing that 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 was unfortunate yeah 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 that's yeah, the other thing the, 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 they've changed overwatch so much that now i'm so afraid of opening up again <laughs> I don't know lah. Let's. I'll wait until Overwatch Two comes out whenever. Maybe I'll and see what happens. Overwatch Two beta. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go. Probably <laughs> that'll be the best time to play. <laughs> and I so fall down, down of the tent. <laughs> yeah. Uh, eh, what else? Oh, uh, can you guys give me a few minutes? You guys can continue. I'll come back later. All right. Just give yeah, me a right. few minutes. Okay, hold on. All right. All right. So. Ooh. I guess we can talk about this other uh, anime game since we're talking about anime games for like past hour. Let's talk about this anime game. Uh, Scarlet Nexus. The is it? Yes. I'm oh, sorry. I have to double check. Okay. So Scarlet Nexus demo is out now, which is like I think like a slice of one of the storyline between two characters, and mm. and it looks fun. I haven't played it yet. I'm downloading it right now on the Xbox. So, hmm, could be interesting. Tapi, what what do you think? 
about this game? Is it going to be good? Atau is this going to be another Bamco punya anime jank? Okay, first off, uh, to to ensure that uh, the 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 floor is no, to ensure we know the bar is where is the bar, our resident anime guy, <laughs> our good friend Irham, has already got this game already. Oh yeah, on he's the already. Order. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty So that it. means that at, at the very least, the anime jack is there. Scarlet Nexus uh, appeals to that sort of uh, demographic. I'm not going to do start... the same joke again. I'm not going to see Weeboo again. <laughs> Can we start a, a, a start woman and we call them anime jank? <laughs> anime janky. <laughs> janky, which I'm like, like the Azulin for the game. The PS4 game, not the 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 mobile yeah, one. I, I, yeah, I know it's a cross wave. Yeah, cross wave and. Oh, do you want to put the Kandagawa Kandagawa? The jet any girls? of the Kandagawa jet, 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 jet yeah. Kandagawa jet. Uh, yeah, all of the I Kandagawa. Can get the, pres- so, the name right. Can yeah. Uh, I can we call them like anime jack or something like that? <laughs> okay, we put that into consideration. That being said, I too am interested in Color Nexus. But not not because of the anime, because now that I've seen some of the combat beats, oh, 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 you using using big brain powers, you using telekinesis, yeah. psychokinesis, you can pull up fight. Yeah, this is psyops, isn't it? Yeah, that's why. Right. Anime so, psyops. Psyops. <laughs> Come mm. back. <laughs> nah, it's muddled, man. Who made it again? Midway. Where did we go? doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. Hey, you know what exists? Oh, we didn't put it on docket. I should put it on docket because it's tangent, tangentially related. Okay, Sios okay. doesn't exist, right? But you know the other yeah. side psychic game that released around that time that exists now. What's that? Uh, second side. Yes, you can buy Second Sight right now on PC. It has been re-released. You know who made Second Sight? Three Radical. Radical. And who is making another game based on a based on a very beloved series? Three Radical. Three Radical. They were dead until yesterday. <laughs> until the yesterday. Already. They've been revived somehow. Not only, the, not only the okay, the Lich King acquires people. They they have been yeah. devouring companies, but now they are literally resurrecting companies, <laughs> as expected from the power that they hold. Uh, uh, what? This is basically Deep Silver. They they are now under Deep Silver. Deep Silver is adjacent THQ Nordic by way of their parent company Embracer Group. And now that you think of it, now you know why they are called Embracer Group. They've been embracing a lot of companies lately, so to speak. Yeah. Embrace King death. Embrace <laughs> death. <laughs> At least they not they haven't pulled the NEA yet. They just keep on acquiring and acquiring. That being said, yeah, Time Splitter is coming back. They've confirmed a new game coming. They are in yeah. development. I oh. think that like, I like the 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 four K version of like Time Splitters and the cut uh for Homefront, but goddamn. The FOV sucks. <laughs> I mean, it's a console game from what? 2001? 2002? Yeah, 2001. Of course, the FOV sucks. That's how CRT TVs back then, man. And you, when you all blown it up to a, four, up to a 4K TV, so, oh my god. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the, that's the experience. That's, that's how I, I, I uh, grind my gear. Not grind my gears. Uh, learn the traits of the FPS game. It was through headaches. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, <laughs> yeah. Uh, ready your time punts. I'm. Oh god. I'm. I'm set for the butt loot of stupid time punts from the new time splitters. Okay. And I think stuff is still not there, so we're just. Gonna oh, I'm. I'm here. I'm back. All so. right. So. <laughs> I've been waiting for you guys to finish your segment and then yeah. All right. we're so back in talk. time. Yeah. Time. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what is? Time. What is? <laughs> time. All right. So next up, <laughs> Twitch shenanigans. Uh, ah, yes, Twitch shenanigans. Of course. Of course. 
Of course. Of course it is. I have no idea, but I I understand shenanigans only. Yeah, right. So, uh, currently, there is a, a new meta for Twitch, which is the hot tub streamer. <laughs> Where, you know, like, uh, the just chatting, basically, the just chatting punya uh, button or the just chatting punya category is now just full of hot tub streamers. But today, today or this week, I guess, there's been there a very is, yeah. big, yeah, very big revelation that the original hot tub streamer has been demonetized with no reason. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah I, I, see, I see two big reasons. Yeah. I see two big reason why. <laughs> two big reasons. <laughs> I mean, it's not a surprise, really. Okay, okay, hold Please. on. Explain to me. Oh, is, is it is it just literally a streamer doing a stream while in a hot tub? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Soft yes. compound, pretty much. Soft compound. Soft compound. <laughs> That's why I said that it's just chatting category. You just have to change it to just hot tub. I mean, I could. <laughs> I mean, I could go to. I, I don't want to say the full name of the site because we are family friendly. Yeah, that other side. Gra- yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. <laughs> Whatever. But... The hub. We call it the hub. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the hub. Right. All right. The, the hub. Is that, the hub of is that... the P. Yes, the P hub. Yeah. Yeah, basically, at least if I go to P hub, at least there, there's more decent content than Twitch just chatting section. <laughs> But again, it's Twitch. It's Twitch uh, loophole, you know. Mm-hmm. Of course, you can stream in a hot tub as long as it's in an appropriate place. So And your bits are covered, basically. Um, yeah. Firmware is permitted as long as it's covering the, you know, the sensitive spots. Yes. Thankfully, thankfully in Malaysia, nobody does that. Because if they do, oh then... my goodness, no, <laughs> not yet. Anyway, um, no, yet. No, 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 we don't know please, yet. We don't know please yet. Please, please don't please. show to the certain parties. Please don't show. <laughs> you know what happened when some parties under uh, saw something weird about video games? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Fight of Gods happened. That game got <laughs> famous for no good, for the wrong reasons. I mean, <laughs> still a fun janky game, but. Did it deserve to be uh getting that kind of the uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? That kind of sensational controversy? I don't know. Mm. Like there are more games like that. <laughs> That's that kind of for the so please yeah, keep I'm... it keep it hush hush. <laughs> I think we are probably a few steps away from a woman wearing a hijab and with nothing but a hijab and a bikini. Oh, oh, no, they can do that. They can. It's do a good that. thing. It's a good thing. It's after po- it's Ramadan. <laughs> after uh, Ramadan, God. after yeah. Ramadan, especially. Yes. I don't know, man. If, if it's going is... to happen, I I can see it happening. It's just a matter of when, uh, and there's going to be hey, a lot man. of controversy for this shit. Oh, for sure, for sure. <laughs> there's gonna be like. You know, clash, clash of culture, as always. Is this, is this a part of the news where everybody becomes horny for some reason? Uh, <laughs> no, my question is, why why are people... people? Is it the appeal because of the hot yes. tub? Is it yes, because people much. are horny? Yes. <laughs> That's the yeah. question. Uh, you, know, you, it, know what, you know what's the funniest thing uh, about the demonization part? Uh, what? Yeah, they, they, she got demon, demonized, but she still gets money from... Yeah, same. Oh, and, and OnlyFans. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so other portals. Okay, that, that makes sense. Yeah, yes. yeah. yeah TikTok. <laughs> uh, okay. hey, Twitch. Hey, speaking, speaking of that, Twitch, uh, Twitter is also, you know, up, uh, implementing uh, tips, yeah. A plugin, yeah. Implementing tips, so. What? Nope. Tip. <laughs> subscribe, to, my subscribe to my, to my <laughs> yearly shit post. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to my random tweets of video games and anime and pitch perfect you you will go unrewarded you need to pay three dollars for my full review of RT game uh, sitting in a bathtub fully clothed for charity making a hot tub is it's time to unfollow Five dollars, five bucks to shit post an F one every other week. Okay. Oh, sure. we should get keep our F one opinions. <laughs> as if we are, as if, 
<laughs> as if you have like big, as if you are like what uh, the the biggest I, the biggest thought leaders of the F1 community. Nah, we just want to shit post and we don't want it to be to be public. You want to hear it, pay, but you get nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Speaking about Twitch, I didn't put this in the in the document, but they're actually announcing local price tags. Oh yeah, local pricing now. Oh, regional yeah, pricing. Or, yeah, yeah. Interesting. And people do not like that. <laughs> no, no. It it depends on which you are from, because let's say if you're from Malaysia, like one month sub tier one costs around five. Five dollars, which is twenty bucks. Divide that by two, because Twitch takes fifty percent. Obviously, mm-hmm. so basically you get two point five. Two point five. Got to come again. Like you, it's around what, eight, 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 ringgit. Eight, eight, eight to nine ringgit. So like, so like if let's say kalau tuka, if they change it to local pricing, it's kinda. It's kind of confusing people because yeah, there are two ways. Because there's two ways you can go, which is like U.S. pricing to Malaysia ringgit, or basically you pay you pay four ringgit for subs, which yeah. is, in my opinion, is a loss. Plus the fifty yeah, percent. It is a loss. Yeah, it is a loss because uh someone killer the because currently there's only two countries that have this uh what some call it. They keep it. They did not. Regional pricing. Uh, let's, regional let's pricing. Yeah. Mm. Regional pricing. Mm. So, usually for for this one, we have looking at Turkey. So the Turkey for the this B six sub is forty five lira, or five dollars. So that is appropriate lah the price. But according to the new region, nanti, it only costs around ten lira. So for but in the US dollar, there's only a buck. So there's a tiga. There's basically a three dollar loss. Three to four dollar loss. Therefore, a streamer basically. Yeah, considering okay. that consumers consi- win, streamers don't. Is it? Yeah, that's why. Yeah, and plus it's funnier because you know Twitch is gonna take fifty percent anyways. Yeah. So you're gonna get fifty cents. <laughs> yeah. So basically, in total, you lost like three point five dollar already. Hmm. Is this which basically leaves me like, like scrap change over money, like people at that point would probably tell them to don't need to PayPal more than subbing because mm. at least you get to keep hundred percent of your earnings there. Nah, like ten, like ten percent goes to PayPal or whatever, but still, like that's ninety percent least... more. <laughs> yeah, at least at least you gain the majority of your money. Unlike unlike Twitch. It's a fifty-fifty, which, in my opinion, is is understandable. But the local pricing, I I know Malaysia is gonna get it in like quarter three, quarter four. So it depends. So it depends on that timing. Like if it's really if it's really the price that I expect it would be, then there's gonna be problem because imagine. Imagine the migrations of Facebook or YouTube streamers to Twitch in Malaysia. Yeah, and you see the. I'm I'm not talking bad about Facebook streamers in general. I I know some people that are my friends who are Facebook streamers as well. But I'm talking about the newcomers and everything. They see like, hey, Twitch is more local friendly now. Let's just go there, and then they'll probably complain about the loss of money. So like, hey, I get to stream this. I get. I get twenty bucks, and then Twitch take fifty percent, and then I get, and then I get my fifty. So Facebook, uh, paying more than Twitch right now, or uh, after regional pricing. It depends because the because for Malaysia right now we don't know because they haven't released the they haven't released the timing for Malaysia yet. Okay, how about right now? As in Twitch USD for Malaysia, for Malaysian streamers right now compared to what face on for Facebook streamers are earning. It do, depends. Do it depends on. It depends on two things: marketing and then, and then viewership basically. Oh so my like, 
Uh, I'm sorry, I have to uh, body for a while. I'm looking at Facebook right now, and the top one in Malaysia is a fucking hot tub streamer. My god! <laughs> we are already here! <laughs> the hot tub is here! The oh, hot wow, tub invasion! Okay. I'm uh, sorry. With a, with a hijab? Yeah, I'm sorry to body. No, 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 it's just normal one. Oh no, my normal. god. Wait, wait, wait. Right. share the screenshot, like... please. Share the screenshot. Yeah, yeah share, share it, share, share it, share, 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 share it. Share, share. <laughs> Minute silence. I. I... I cannot believe this. Yeah, share it yeah, on the chat. I don't know what to say. Oh, this is friendly friendly. Nah, man. Too oh, late. Good God. You are, you are, uh, I'm pretty sure, very late. <laughs> that was share. The meta. You see? The meta is already there. It has been evolved. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Man, wait, what? Okay. Oh, oh man. you are oh, twenty no. minutes too late. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, dear viewers and listeners. I'm not gonna show you this one, but you go and find. <laughs> we uh, we are family friendly. We we cannot show. It cannot show above eighteen. Yeah, we cannot show P stuff. Like the best part is the below that is someone playing God of War, the original God of War. <laughs> So that is weird, man. Okay, at least it's not a Malaysian doing it, but it is in a feed that you can... Yes, uh, it is in the local feed, basically. Uh, My God. <laughs> 1, 1.5k watching a live stream 18+. plus. That's all I'm going to say. But yeah, again, coming back to the point, which is, does Facebook Malaysia pay more than Twitch? It depends if you're popular or not. But in terms of payout payout issues, I think Twitch has a slight slight app slight uh advantage over it. Okay. If I think correctly, because because Facebook requires you to do this and that, Twitch is just like you you input your PayPal. The moment you hit the threshold, it automatically uh did. De- Deposit it into your account. All right, cool. Yeah, just just want to ask you. Since we do have a streamer over here, might as well ask, right? Yeah, yeah. good to know. Good to know. Uh, so M- M- the, the M- next M- question is, of course, Oka, when you gonna get into the hot tub? <laughs> uh, ask me. Okay, ask me that question. Fifty years after after my unparalleled death. <laughs> I I would you know what you know I rather wear the postman punya costume <laughs> five times over than going to a hot tub while streaming okay why not wear that postman costume in the hot tub big brain woman <laughs> <laughs> nah uh, nah the bag the bag is too heavy kan dapat CND dari post Malaysia pula <laughs> oh no for helping them you gotta get this and this no, 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 no. Post Malaysia no, no, does no, not no. endorse swimming, wo- swimming postmans. Yeah, neither rain nor snow nor even water or rain. So hot tub is a metaphor for rain, I guess. <laughs> I wouldn't okay, be, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the next big thing is hot spring, hot spring streaming. Um, like people will go to hot springs and then they, they just stream mm-hmm. with proper attire. But but again, but again, Twitch has loopholes, yeah. And peep, and sometimes people are smart to use that loophole. Mm-hmm. Speaking of loopholes, on sense appropriate attire is what again? Naked. Um, mm. <laughs> in the buff basically. birthday suit, birthday suit. If... Ah, birthday suit. <laughs> yeah, the classy way of saying it. S- saying loopholes, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Hey, this is appropriate for the culture. Why are you? Yeah. <laughs> oh man! Well, I'm just glad. I, I feel like uh, I feel like we had this conversation before. I don't know why. Do we now? Like hot tub? I don't know. No hot tub. Like onsen. Like onsen streaming. I don't know. <laughs> Do we now? Maybe, oh. maybe not. Maybe not now. Yeah. Maybe, maybe deja vu or something. Or maybe it's that conversation in VR chat. We don't know. One. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, we should move on. <laughs> uh, hot tubs. Alright. <laughs> What's next? Alright, so... Um, I guess we can talk about something that's happening in three weeks' time. Besides E3, uh, Jeff Keighley's 
Summer Game Festival has been announced. And boy, do they have a lineup. What? Oh, what's on the lineup? Yeah, what is on the lineup? I guess, like, they give itself, they give itself, there will be announcements from, well, from his words, I guess. But the lineup of developers and publishers are interesting. We have the likes of PlayStation, 2K, Activision, Sega, Square Enix, EA, Xbox, and I guess Steam, for to name a few. So we have the big boys here, like the big three players in the console market right now, together. So that's going to be interesting. No wait, three. I guess Kalatama Steam seems they they are basically a market on its own. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, Steam is doing the next fest during under the Summer Game Fest umbrella, right? Yep. Uh, there's that Ubisoft forward thing. Okay. Uh, EA Play Life is under that umbrella. Hmm? Yep, that's why. Okay. I swear, and... I swear, if they announce. Another FIFA twenty FIFA game. They're like, going to another FIFA twenty. They're going not to. Saying, where but... else will they announce it? No, I'm no, no, no. I mean, if it's any, if they announce anything out of the usual stuff, I would be happy or sad. Depends. Toka, Toka, can I have? We've been me, Mac, and even Tofi have been doing this for years. If mm. there's no FIFA. On EA stage, that's that means the apocalypse is coming. Yeah, hell has frozen over. <laughs> there's no FIFA game around. <laughs> okay, okay. There's oh, a I'm saving, also looking. That, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. there's, should, there's a should. saving oh. grace. There's a saving grace to that. F1 is gonna be on that stage probably. Oh no! Oh. Yeah. A yearly <laughs> F1 announcement. Imagine yeah, that. Finally, now, now, now we two hundred ringgit F1. Now we have F1 on that damage. stage. Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh, Will it be before or after the cringe? Do you think? <laughs> after? Probably the cringe will come in between. And then, yeah, probably after the cringe. Imagine the F1 thing they're showing. They, they are showing... Probably they show the story mode and everybody in chat says cringe. Yes! <laughs> that's what that. I want. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, imagine... Could be worth... Hmm? Hmm. Up, Could we... Imagine then. For this year, the first year, they want to do it over back and... And probably they leave a car for under the stage. Oh, they bring a Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> they bring a Mercedes to LA. Oh, but what, any F1 car just rise up onto the roof. Ah, uh, okay. But for F1 fans, we know that's an old car from like 2010. They just put a new livery on it to fool Ooh. people. <laughs> Tapi, tapi, <laughs> hmm. But then, but then everybody says, oh, car, cringe. <laughs> Oh, to be yes, sir. That's uh, already. Uh, look, there's 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 optimism into Summer Game Fest. Remember last year? Finally, last year, <laughs> last year, Tony Hawk was resurrected at Summer Game Fest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a good start. That then just the dive. I went those dives. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> and, and then I forgot everything about Summer Game Fest. <laughs> Well, I do know there's gonna be Weezer performing in the live stream, so I'm kind of something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna. I mean, at the very least, we'll at least get some good music out of it, even if all the announcements were shit. Alright. Uh, as long as Twitch doesn't <laughs> doesn't. Yes. Oh wait, 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 wait! I just remember something. This uh-huh. second day, Xbox wants to reveal a new Forza. Yeah. Will he? Will they bring up another car at that stage again? Oh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. What's the the hot new car for this year? Think about it. Think oh. about it. Malera, oh, we have three, we, yeah, we have three weeks to to predict what car will be on the on the cover and on the stage. Okay, my bad. <laughs> McLaren Aftura. Woo! I'm going for the new Corolla Z. Which one is it? Gamera. 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 Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> we we way in the niche now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, Tokra no. is kind of the entry level. I have no idea since I'm still new. Oh, no, no, no. Not the Artura, sorry. I mean the Elva. 
Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Ah, Blackstreet, yeah, yeah that's, that's... Arturize the 570S replacement. Uh, no way they're gonna put that on the cover. Yeah, they, so they, 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 they need, like, Halo like... cars, man. Like, not, not Halo yeah. cars. <laughs> you know, black sheep. What, the Warthog? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, the I mean, I joke. To be there. I mean, it, it, I mean, I joke, but, <laughs> but there was a hot Warthog in Forza. Yeah, and the uh, Forza oh, Horizon the 4. Yeah. Yeah. There, was a, there was a Warthog and the Final Fantasy car. Oh yeah, right, right. <laughs> gotta remember, they, they are uh. not, not afraid with crossovers, even with video games. Yeah, uh. yeah. Yeah, what else to expect from Summer Game Fest? Mihoyo is on the list, huh? Yeah, Mihoyo is on the list, it's interesting. So, yeah, probably your I, Genshin I mean, Impact. I billion dollars now. Uh, I know Genshin yeah, Impact Xbox. is going to reveal the... Genshin Impact Xbox, please. The uh. Japanese continent update, you know, the... There's actually Nezuma? going to be a new continent. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, Nezuma. yeah, yeah. yeah I feel the that... characters that were leaked, so they're going to make that official most likely. Oh, I mean, I just, I mean... just say, oh, Xbox version coming soon. <laughs> oh, that too, that too, that could be. You know, you know, I remember something they announced about the Switch part being delayed because of. Yeah, yeah, it's very issues. Very... <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting with my Switch. Get hurry up, please. <sighs> but. But yeah, for for Genshin Impact, I mean they already they already released stuff related to Inazuma back in the back in the anniversary anniversary stream, I think. Uh, which item or it wasn't a character, right? It was an item. Uh, no, no, no. This from China. Oh, China! Yeah. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. So basically, they they show previews of buildings in Inazuma. Oh no! We that that stream that was also in the. Oh, well, it wasn't a live stream in English, but they did have a t. They did have pictures of that. So yeah, yeah, the the locations. The yeah, locations. they show they show the locations and. Yeah, I and think... the characters were already leaked ahead of time, I guess, because of leakers. So it would be nice to see how they would actually fit in with the events in in, in official capacity, lah. I mean, what I'm seeing for Genshin Impact is basically something like Warcraft, World of Warcraft mm-hmm. uh, roadmap. So basically, this year you're going to get Inazuma. Next year, you're going to get this place. So yeah, basically, you're going to get different countries and different regions. That would be pretty cool. Imagine, imagine Genshin Impact has an expansion pack. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe a... Ro- or they're already done like a European setting anyway. That's Mondstadt. China, the Chinese setting is Liwei. Japanese is, of course, Inazuma. So, yeah. what other country? We're probably going to get a Polynesian kind of country. I don't know. Who knows? Bring it to or... Mexico and then we get the Malayan there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the Rising Cross of the Genshin Impact. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, I know there's going to be a Russian team, Russian team country. Yeah, like Ice yeah. Castle, whatever. Yeah. yeah, that would be interesting too. Gothic I'm... place, yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing Blizzard in in the in the partner as well. Oh, yes, Desert oh, World, I'm... Desert World, Desert World. Don't forget Desert World. Oh yeah, I thought... Fire, most likely Fire, <laughs> Pyro, Pyro. But yeah, seeing the Summer Game Fest uh, partners, I'm seeing Blizzard in there. Are they mm. gonna announce another update to that stupid stupid Diablo phone game? <laughs> Diablo yeah, Immortal or Diablo it's 4 fun. for you know yeah. I mean it's if it's decent. Diablo I mean if it's Diablo 4 I'm fine but if it's about the Diablo phone game I just think that's not gonna work oh well, people are fun. gonna play it regardless yeah Diablo yeah, on the phone yeah but... probably for the review yeah. probably for reviews and stuff but you know just from what I've seen I don't think this is gonna be a good Good plan. Mm-hmm. We'll see, lah. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Anything else before we move on? Like any highlights from a company? Nah. That's nah. I think there's enough. I guess... it's enough for now. Yeah. Okay. Because I mean, the next episode is literally a week before E three, so <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do more speculations. <laughs> okay. So I think we're just gonna. Uh, like breeze on through the final three. So, uh, Outriders <laughs> has thirty, thirty pula, three point five. Yeah, three point five million unique players in April during their launch, thanks to Game Pass probably. 
Definitely, Where, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Good game, by the way. Um, and PlayStation exclusives are coming, coming to PC right now because there's some hidden games within their open uh, Steve DB page. Ooh. Persona, please. No, <laughs> I Persona thought five. I thought we were going to mention Bloodborne. Bloodborne here. Bloodborne. <laughs> this is the this is the the, the mandatory Bloodborne announcement. <laughs> That's why this is the Metro Plus, but not or, uh, yet. Not of War. Yeah. 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 We yet already yet. got so Miku Matmoto already released. Uh, yeah. And guess what? So, People are okay with it. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. I, I'm playing it right now as you speak. It's it's the same game I played except on a better frame rate and oh, better frames. controls, keyboard mouse. Oh yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't actually need to use the focus ability anymore or as much because I can just aim. At the zombie's head's just fine. Nice. So, yeah. Okay. And lastly, we're gonna end this on a slumber note. Um, the busy... Who remembers uh, the manga Berserk? Well, sadly, oh. your the creator, Kantaro Miura, has passed away in yeah. May 6th. Eh. So, That's I mean, this, yeah. This, this man basically invented the dark fantasy. He invented edge lords. Let's just say that. Yeah, uh, edge lord yeah. archetypes. The guys carrying the big swords. The characters who suffer through lots of crazy nonsense in their lives to become the badasses that they are and still mope. That archetype. Yeah, it's all from Berserk. All yeah. those armors, all those special badass armors, the gothic look, dark, like you say, like dark fantasies, or even stuff you see in like Bloodborne. Dark Souls, especially, yeah, would not be possible without the the existence of Berserk and this creator. So rest in peace, lah, Kentaro Miura. Last one, I've forgotten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to mention, and, like, to mention as well, uh, Dragon's Dogma is a good oh. is a good adaptation of that that sort of feeling. I mean, not yeah, necessarily yeah, Berserk, has, uh, but it's kind of there. It is, it is, mm. in the fact that the monsters are still, that have that dark fantasy kind of look. Yeah, like, the m- monsters are no joke there. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Especially the, up to the necromancer and the golem, mm. and that dude who chases you in the, in the extra dungeon in the, in, in the Dark Arisen DLC. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, all those, are that dark little flare, that real little... Really unique art style, lah. Basically, the gothic dark art art style. Man, I feel like going by the entire manga set. To be honest, I've been reading it for my friends. They've they actually loaned me copies, but now because of this, it just feels like I kind of want to go on my way to buy a couple of copies, the original paperbacks. Yeah, yeah. yeah the artwork is so mm. gorgeous up to this day. And very influential for a lot of game developers, especially. Yeah, it holds up. Like personally, I'm not into that kind of thing, but you you see the effort to make that. Yeah. That there's definitely effort and talent being put there. Yeah. You see it. You yeah, can man. see it. I don't like to see yeah. it as much, but still. <laughs> yeah. Respect yeah. the hustle. Yeah. Oh, not, yeah. Not a big fan, but yeah, yeah. respect the hustle. Mm-hmm. And that's it for. This podcast. Woof. Yay. Wow. Yay. So thumbnails, I guess. Oh yeah. So Ooh. what do we put on the thumbnail? Yeah, you could put a lady D with the yeah. five oh, I guess. Yeah. In a hot lady tub, of course. baby. Oh yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Problem solved. <laughs> The, it, wait, wait! Instead of the Lady Dimitrescu, we put Lady D from Ujang. <laughs> oh my God, that Lady D! <laughs> oh yeah, the Balik Kampung Lady D, right? Ah, okay, <laughs> collab, collab. That's good stuff. We we, we put both. <laughs> we put both. And then this, <laughs> and then the stream names Resident the Evil Balik Kampung. Hot up, collab. Hot up. Lady D, hot Someone should make a shit. Pose of put Lady D Ujang face oh! face of Lady Dimitrescu. <laughs> uh, please don't. I uh, let me get let me see if there's a Lady D Ujang over here. 
If there oh, is that Travot sarang <laughs> Oh man That is gonna be It's gonna be a search For that one Oh boy But yeah It can work It can work Good luck <laughs> <laughs> oh, I found one good. Okay, that what that. Oh, that's... I found a tall <laughs> yeah, one. It took, it took one minute. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> now she's good just job. standing there like a tall vampire. I can see it already. Yeah. Hold on, that's a oh, that's Antu Lampo. That's different. <laughs> Not a vampire. Anyway, uh, I guess that's for the thumbnail. Uh, social links then. Let's promote. Uh, do we go to the guests first? Yeah, guests first. Yeah. Yeah. Guest first. Okay, yeah. I can Coffee. go first. All right. Um, yep, all right. You can check out our stuff at thekkp.com, kakuchopre.com. We've got the website. We've got the YouTube page. We should be putting up some bio mutant and other indie game content soon. So, yeah, just keep track of that. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Anyways, uh, anyways, as, <laughs> anyways, as for me, if you want to see more gacha content or recently F1 Racing, which is going to happen tomorrow, you can find me at twitch.tv slash toka underscore Or if you just want to see my daily events, you can go to Twitter slash toka underscore Yep, yep, yep. We, to- we totally can now. Uh, spin off Daya Dogcast as a full podcast now. <laughs> yeah. Now that we have Toka in. Yeah. Another member. Uh, man. Uh, Daniel. Alright, so you can follow me at twitter.com slash flaky fl4ky uh, read my current review of Resident Evil 8 Village. I, I won't call it Resident Evil Village. I'll call it Resident Evil 8. <laughs> and uh, I guess uh, the next game I will be uh, reviewing is well I can give you a hint uh, Tears and Luna and uh, very interesting plot holes and that's it Mac? yeah what's Anand dulu? Ah yeah, I guess uh, <laughs> yeah, I can find me on, twi- on Twitter. Uh, drop near dr four up and one r, dr four up and one r. Uh, I don't know. Send me Mezepin memes. Ooh, <laughs> and I have been Amirul Macronos Ashraf M E C K R O N O S. Uh, stay tuned for more content on GameMatters dot com. Uh, whatever Daniel said, uh, that's coming. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't inform me what it is, but yeah, that's coming. <laughs> yeah, that's coming. <laughs> I just thought of it just now. <laughs> See, that's that's the kind of site we are. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned. We'll have something in store coming soon. And yeah, that's your lot. That's the your lot. The Game Matters podcast. And uh, my Jose Batin. Eh, how are you, my? My. Go get your old blood injections, please. Yes. Old blood. <laughs> <laughs> the blood it's minister. Like KKM, the, the healing church. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>